More like beverage. <laughs> I hate myself. <laughs> oh, okay. Let me know if the uh, the game audio is overpowering. I did have to. It's 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 still kind of. I don't know. It feels kind of high. Let's bump it down a little bit. Oh, that bumped it down a lot. Okay. It seems good for now. We'll see. We'll see. I don't know what the ambience. I don't know what that's gonna be like in this. But I am excited. We have a new coffee talk. Finally. Oh my god. I'm so ready for this. I love coffee talk. Dude, me too! I fucking love the original game. Can't wait for this. Also, just Hibiscus and Butterfly is a good title. I don't know. Like, it just feels really good. Oh, yeah. These going. Okay. Yes, food and feelings. Yes. Yes. I can't wait to have more discussions about the struggles of life and inner turmoil with the citizens of this fair city uh but i guess without further ado i don't want to delay this any longer uh let's just play the game oh uh, we are uh, right off right off new achievement welcome to coffee talk Ooh, this beat seattle 2023 hey timely city of enduring loneliness place where the dreamers, the realists, and the weary are striving to thrive, and not just to survive. <laughs> it's a time when society is reevaluating what it means to be alive. Story narrative designed by Junkapachi. Add uh, uh, those people. It is a moment when history is questioned and traditions are challenged. Old classification laws are confronted by those who are striving for fairness, or the right to be acknowledged in a society right with judgments. Acceptance is a battle, and identity is a luxury they just need to grasp. Many who are feeling lost turn to their screens to find their footing. And the world became fast-paced with increasing connectivity. Whether for work or pleasure, for a little encouragement, or simply to escape. It is unclear whether or not it helps or further isolates them. As some look for answers off the beaten path, Seeking bittersweet comforts to help pass on lonely nights. In a night blooming coffee shop standing between the rainy streets, they'd find a small respite for a cup of warm drink. And these are their stories. Dax, if you're still here, how did that sound, by the way? Hopefully that sounded okay. Hopefully the audio mixing is good. Massive job loss as... Sounds alright. You sounded a little quiet. Okay. Let me... That's what I was thinking. Because I'd be a little quiet here. Let me just do a general lowering of the audio. And then we will... Might have to turn everything up then in comparison. Music's a bit loud. That's what I was thinking. Okay. How's that? I, I turned it down in my like general mixer, not even like OBS. All right. Might just have to turn everything up now. Let's start the day. Also, Chai says hi hi. Oh shit! It's all right. 
I guess this will go on for a while. Who's here? Oh, it's Georgie! <laughs> You're back, buddy. How have you been? What's poppin'? I'm also like moving my mic closer to my face. I don't know if this is gonna help or not, but Georgie! Welcome. Evening, Reggie. What's cracking? Aside from the thunder outside, that is. I mean, um, I'd say the power lines. I I also switched job classes. Apparently, I'm no longer a bartender. I'm a barista. So. Probably. Yeah. What about him? Oh. That's concerning. That's a concern. Okay. Oh shit, my uh, my phone. Yo. Okay, so we got a new uh Oh, look at his Look at his, uh, look at his, look at his family. Man, he's got, did he get another kid? I think he had two daughters before, right? Did he have a, did he have a third kid? Rachel, Rachel woke up, uh, I woke up today so refreshed. I think it's going to be a good day. What to do? I'm going to go around liking everybody's shit. Ice Bailey's, yes, uh, ma'am. Oh, okay, okay, it's Bailey. Oh my god. Okay, hold on. It's all coming back to me. Lua's here. Okay, so we're gonna. Uh, okay. Uh, the chief said these days youngsters read and listen to info and advice more seriously in this format. So here I am, kiddos. I'm Georgie. I'm my fucking little buddy. Oh yeah, right. Oh my god. Okay, so yeah, it's Rachel with. um. All the friends. Why is her page in dark mode? Is it just because of the photo? Oh, there's hide. Before to get uh, a new place to live, you just need to go uh, to said place, have a look, and pay the cash. Now all these forms you need to fill. Abysmal. Two hour delay, not a problem. Oh my god, my phone. All right, we got we got the basic recipes. Ah, oh, shit, I don't remember. Wait, hold on. Do we have the same recipes? Do I have to rediscover how to make the Galahad? Oh my god, no. I don't remember everything from the first game. Uh, okay, we'll start. Okay, oh, daily short stories. Oh, and I can control the... Uh, I can control the music. Ah, oh, okay, okay. I got distracted by my phone! <laughs> yeah, I'm a good barista. I got, I'm fucking ignoring the dude in front of me. Alright. The power's been go- uh, it's kept going on and off all night. Our machines couldn't even heat up properly. They're bad, huh? Sorry. Take your order as soon as the machines are ready. No problem. I guess our resident writer, Miss Green Haired Fairy, isn't here tonight. You mean Freya? The one and only. Unless she has changed her hair color, uh, my, then my bad. <laughs> it's still the same. She won't be coming around for a while, I think. Oh, why? She's currently on a research trip for her new book. Uh, so. I'm gonna miss her. She was fun. At least that's what she's told me. That's too bad. What is this? Oh, this is my head. Okay. The evenings won't be the same without her. No kidding. I admit it's been pretty quiet around here. But it's good for her to escape the city once in a while. Have some time to herself. I guess they also fixed the issue I was having with the old coffee talk where I couldn't capture it on OBS easily. Like, it kept, like, flicking in and out. But we'll see. I think it's working fine. Just let me know if the capture fucks up. 
I should really be glancing at that more. I'm trying to keep an eye on it. Not looking good, huh? Yeah. But I've already notified the city's lights department. They said they'd monitor the area, just in case. Don't worry, Raging. If anything happens, I'll lend you my trusty lighter. Or lighter? Uh-huh. Got it from my grandfather, a lucky charm of sorts. I failed this in a pinch, not even once. Unless you need it lit up for longer than 10 seconds. Doing something DT while listening. Okay. No, okay, no, this is per this is a perfect game for you to uh just go audio only in. Cause I'm gonna be reading everything. Like, I'll try it. Like it, it's it's a vibe. This game is such a fucking vibe. Oh my god, I love this game. I already love it. I I mean I love the first one, so I'm like I'm I'm already anticipating me loving this a lot. It's the thought that counts. Are cops just to carry flashlights around anyway. Oh we do! That's where where's the thrill in that? That sounds like you need a vacation too. Do I ever? Oh shit, is my machine warmed up? This game keeps making me hold on to the dream of a 24-hour cafe. Fuck. I I I I I would run one. I would totally do that. Hmm. I was just like, ah. Uh. It feels good to be back into it. it it's I'm I'm just so. What's this? Oh, what's the, what is this? I have something in my. Oh my god! I I I had a cabinet button. I just clicked on it. A written postcard prepared for Georgie. Looks like she left a message. Give this to him? I feel like I should be able to give this to him. We're gonna, uh, we're probably gonna, it's, it's probably gonna go through that for me. All right, let's see. Yeah, it's finally, thanks for waiting. I can take your order now. Great. I'm already done for the day, so no more coffee for me. Oh, no midnight patrol then? Not just for tonight. Roger that. In that case, would you like a sample of our new tea selection instead? We have hibiscus and blue pea available. Hibiscus and blue what? Uh, blue pea? It's actually butterfly pea, but we call it blue pea for short. The color is really pretty. Huh. I had no idea you offered alternative stuff, Reggie. Really. No judgment here, just saying. Alternative what? Oh. It's pea, as in pea pods. Oh. Not whatever else you thought it was. Oh my god, Georgie. I <laughs> got it, whoops. Sure, I'll give that a shot. Don't remember my golden rule? Of course. No dairy for Thomas and Georgie. Correct. Right. Sure you have all this info written down on your phone already. I want to say yes, but some of my notes went missing after I got my phone serviced a month ago. Whoops. I'll write down everything you can while you remember it. Speaking of remembering. Right, actually, let yeah, there we go. Okay, so it was, it was gonna be like, yeah, we have something for you. my handy dandy trusty actual notebook because I'm like I don't know if I'll remember to check the in-game notebook so having this out helps me because I'm still very much a romanticist that writes things down physically okay so let's see God, the background. Okay, the B I'm, as I'm writing this down, I'm just listening to the BGM. Holy shit, that sounds so good. Mmm. What is this? Wait, hold on. We can check the track, actually. 
as I put down my really... I have a fancy all-metal pen. Don't ask questions. I, I, am, I swear to God, I'm... Oh, you can select the songs! Yeah! That's good. Okay, Georgie, no milk. No dairy. No malt. I'm also a man that is a fan of bookworms, so I have that as well. That's so, alright. I'll leave, uh, then I'll have one of your new teas. I'll, I'll leave the choice up to you. Just keep it simple. Okay. Green tea, green tea, green tea. Uh, let's try. Oh, okay, so. Uh... If I do blue pea, what is it? Okay, no milk. If I can do cinnamon and cinnamon with that. Okay. Okay, so... Wow, okay. There's not really much that you can do with the... Huh. I wanna... I wanna try the... I wanna try making hibiscus stuff. I'm just saying. So. Um... Or the blue pea. The, I don't know. The blue pea looks really pretty. Warm, cool, sweet, and bitter. Okay, so it's a, it's a, it's a fairly balanced, fairly balanced little brew. That is. Oh, you can give it with the ore. Okay, okay. So give item. There we go. So we can. That's how we do it. So it's in my drawer. I can't drag it out yet. I have to give it with an ore. Gone, eh? She bragging to me or something? Oh, huh. Huh. What is it? It appears she left me a uh, message. What's it say? Not for you to worry about. Okay. Anyway, thanks for this. Give him my regards. You're welcome, and I will. Alright, here you go. Wow. Is this stuff really safe to drink? What's with the color? I assure you, it is completely safe to drink. Yeah, yeah, I'm just playing with you, Ragey. Surprisingly mild, huh? Usually people put lemon in it. It did change color, too. Really? Yep. Fortunately, I'm out of lemons. Didn't have enough time to get any from the store. It's fine. I remember my uncle showed me a video of something like that. You know, she's really into new agey health stuff. I remember she made me drink from blue algae or something. Me a drink from blue algae or something. Oh my god. I, I neglected to remember the fact that I am dyslexic and this is gonna this is gonna totally <laughs> wreak havoc with my dyslexia with all the reading. But we shall continue and endeavor. Uh, to lower my cholesterol, she said. Problem was, it tastes like dirt. I still drank it all, though. Nice of her to think of her dad's health, at least. Nah, that's true. Yeah, she's swell. You and me, though, I'll stick with the coffee. 
this one I don't mind at all. Maybe I'll ask her about it later. Thanks. You're very welcome. What a storm. You got somewhere to be? I'm supposed to be home by now. My youngest has just finished all her makeup exams. Makeup exams? Yeah. Found out that for some reason or other, she's been neglecting her studies. But let's just say I had a few things to say about that. How did it go? It was a disaster. Oof. She pulled through in the end, right? Yep. Except we haven't spoken to each other for over a month now. That is not great. That is not great. That is not a great end result. Sorry to hear that. Anyway, the missus planned to celebrate uh, a little tonight. Making all, kind, all the kids' favorite dishes, having their sisters over for dinner and all that. So I'm buying the dessert pies as an olive branch of sort. Sounds like a good plan. But as you can see, I got no pies and I'm no one near home. Because of the storm? That and my car is busted. All the value, valve poles removed and tires deflated. What? How come? It just so happened my car is the latest victim of a vandalism spree. That's a whole other thing going on. That's the easy though. We're on it. But now I need to find a way to get home fast. Can't just drop that sort of fact and expect me to have no questions. Holy! Who is it? 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 Hi, Zeus. What a disaster. This, I think this is a new one. Welcome. Hey, what's shaking? Evening, Pops. What's up? Thunderstorms, obviously. Who is this guy? Looks like a fucking Final Fantasy character. Mainly because he's blind. <laughs> oh, no. Touche. God, isn't the weather just awful? It's like someone up there doesn't care about their water bill or something. I'm glad you're open though, or else I'd be super soaked by now. Happy you made it in time. Would you like anything to drink? Something to warm you up? It'd be great, yeah. Oh, I'm Lucas, by the way. And you are? My name is Ray J. The gentleman over here is Officer Georgie. Awesome. Nice to meet you, Pops. Can I call you Pops? How about me? Sweet! Oh my god, look at his fucking profile! <laughs> this guy causes trouble. There's no way. Not that I'm not- not that I'm against that. I should have just done hibiscus, 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 not anything about it. Or, like, I should have just done blue pea the entire way through. Uh oh. This is Colin. Ah. She's still got an old school phone, too, huh? Alright, be back. Wish me luck. Good luck. See ya. So. Can I get a cafe latte? Sure. Or maybe not. Yes? You know what? I'm not sure. You tell me. You're the pro. Um, let's see. Okay, okay, okay. Hear me out. See, I used to like coffee. Heck, I love espresso. But at some point, my stomach turned against me and decided to ha just hate it. Like, really hate it. You know what I mean? Right. Anyway, milk helps take the edge off. That's why I've been ordering lattes in life. But I still just miss just coffee, you know? And so I was wondering if you can suggest me something. What is it about coffee that you miss? The caffeine, of course. And just the overall boldness, you know what I mean? Am I making sense? Have you ever tried matcha? No, but isn't that just green tea? Yes, but much more concentrated. Would you like to give it a try? Sure! One matcha for me, please. Okay, so the matcha is... Not that. That's, that's Georgie's picture. That's not what I need. It's, uh, yeah, it's just all green tea. Green tea, green tea, green tea. Hey. 
I have nothing. Okay. Serve it. Let's just serve it. Here, try it. A cup of premium matcha coming up. Hmm. Man, it's super green, huh? Let's try it. What do you think? You know what? It's pretty good. It tastes a little grassy, though. But I kind of like it. I'm glad it's to your taste. I wasn't sure if you enjoyed it as is. Why wouldn't I? Some people find the taste a bit too intense when it's served straight like this. Well, good thing I like intense. Because it makes up for the fact that I'm really not. Anyhow, looking forward to your future recommendations from now on. I'll do my best. So... Does anyone ever come here? <laughs> what do you mean? I was trying to pin this coffee shop on my post, right? But there's like, no trace of your place anywhere. There's a reason for that. No tags, no mentions, nothing. What's up with that? No. Maybe our crowd isn't as big as your usual coffee shop since we open quite late. That makes sense. What time do you guys close, anyway? We're open until morning. For real? Pretty heckin' late. You turned into a secret bar after, like, 2 a.m. or something? If you did, Officer Georgie over there would be have a few things to say about that. What? That's no fun. Are you guys on social media at all? Not the coffee shop itself, no. A late-night coffee shop that nobody talks about, huh? Interesting. But hey, that means I can stay until the storm's over, right? Of course. Stay as long as you'd like. Sweet, thanks. I can give you a shout out on my stories if you want. Your stories? Yep. Here, let me show you. I took a photo and posted it moments ago. It was fast. Oh. I was going to tag your place here. You do have an account there. But I haven't seen this feature before. Oh yeah, it's a pretty new thing on Tomoda Chill, huh? You can check out, uh, you can check on people's updates now. Just check the stories tab inside your app on your phone once in a while. Check it daily, though, because the stories only last a day. Who knows? Maybe you'll find some juicy info on your customers there. That's a bit... Daxter4242 says I can speak. Yes, yes, you can. You can indeed speak. I have reg <laughs> Why do you have regrets? <laughs> Because it says my full number. Well, that's on you, buddy. <laughs> ah! <laughs> hey, I'm saying people will post anything. I'm usually more active on my tube channel, anyway. But hey, since you're here, we you tag you instead. Ah, uh, no thank you. But I'm curious, what do you do exactly? Most already seem to have a lot of reactions for a new feature. Right, I guess you can call me a lifestyle reviewer of sorts. I report on the hottest trends. On the hottest people. On the hottest places. <laughs> what is this man? And everything else in between. Wow. Does that mean this coffee shop is part of the hottest gang? Do you want it to be? Sure. The right price, you can. Aww. Never mind then. Just kidding. My manager decides what I endorse. They keep me on. Uh, they help me keep on brand, so to speak. Since they can get, uh, I can get too crazy sometimes. Whatever that means. Oh lordy.
Welcome back, Pops. Thanks. Is everything all right? Kind of. The missus is not happy. Maybe I should try calling a cab. What do you think? I'd save my minutes if I were you, Pops. Not good, huh? You calling him while I, uh, while I was still on the lookout earlier. One and a half hours later, here I am. There were no cabs around my station either. Did you try ordering online, Pops? Did you not see my phone? The only ordering I can do is gnom noms from around the corner of my house. Touche. On the bright side, our power seems to be stable for now. Whoa! I retract my statement. <laughs> For what it's worth, it held out much longer than I expected. You're right. Want to borrow my ladder then, Reggie? Tempting offer, but no thank you. I'm going to check on something, though, so I'll be right back. Yeah, good luck. Hey. You all right? Yeah, yeah, everything's peachy. I just, uh, I just don't like being in the dark so much. What, you scared of the dark, kid? D Duh! You never know who might jump out at you. Oh, we get, we're doing the Japanese test of courage. We're doing like the Japanese high school test of courage thing. Let's go. Come on, make out. But we're in a room. Still! Don't you feel scared at all, Pops? Of course not. I do night patrols all the time. If I can grab them, I can handle them. In theory. I don't know how I feel about that at all. Huh? Did you hear something? What? I swear I heard something just now. Yo! It's the it's the new character. It's one of the other new characters. Fuck! Oh. Holy fuck! Wow! What are you? He's like a satyr or something, I, I feel. We don't see his bottom half. I, I have a feeling he is. Uh... Hi? I'm back. Sorry about that. Everything should be good for now. Oh, great. Wanna get something like a banshee or something special? I, I, the eyes and the hair really make me think of, like, something geisty, so yeah. Welcome. Can I place my order? What voice should I give her? I don't know. I already had Georgie's in place. I kind of gave the, Lu I gave Lucas, like, a fucking, I gave him Sonic. <laughs> Unfortunately, I gave him Sonic. Uh, I don't know what to give her. Can't really do girl voices anyway. What do you have? I really need to. I, I need to get um voice mod on this on this piece. I need to get voice mod set up so I can I can just fucking distort my voice or whatever. Although our arsenal is limited at the moment, we still have our all the usual fare: coffee, tea, and herbal drinks. I'd like something just soothing for my throat. And for my mind. Tough day at work. If you have no particular drink in mind, mind if I suggest trying our new blue pea latte? Blue pea latte, hmm? Could you make it pretty? I'll try my best. <laughs> okay. One blue pea latte with art coming up. So, so a latte is what? Green tea, milk, and milk. So I guess, um, blue pea. Screw that. All right. And then we do the latte art, which fuck me, I suck at. I 
have to go a little harder with that than I'd like. Why does Charlie look like my parents fighting? I'm trying my best! It's, it's subjective. It... Can I reset it? Okay, cool. I think, probably. Nope. I have no idea how to do the, like any latte art in this game at all. Looks like a leaf. I'm gonna. This is as good as it's gonna get. How's that? Thank you for waiting. Here you go. It's blue. Yes, but rest assured, it's all natural. I see. It's pretty. Hmm. How do you like it? It's good. Thank you. You are very welcome. <laughs> Is the power okay now? the city's department is making sure of it. Awesome. Now we can just talk until the storm's over. Well, about that. And who said the storm will go on until midnight at the very least? Nice if I had my car. There are several road closures due to the flooding, also. Well done! So basically, you're saying we're stuck. Right, so. At least for a little while. Let me. I'm gonna. Save the options. Lower that slightly. Yes, yes, that is very bad. I'm in deep trouble. Oh man, George, your wife is gonna be pissed. What's wrong with your car, Pops? 
Yeah, you didn't finish explaining it earlier. I have questions. <laughs> I just don't want to alarm you, Reiji. His tires got flattened. For real? Oh my god, you're fucking Ryuji. Yup. There's been some vandalism going around town recently. Somebody keeps removing valve cores and deflating tires from parked cars around the West Precinct. Huh. Why? Maybe someone's a collector. We've got too much time on their hands. No clue yet. Anyhow, our station was getting repaved. Our station lot was getting repaved. So a few of us had to park outside today. Well, you know the rest. Did everyone's cars get affected too, Pops? Nope. It's mine. Oh. That's so weird. You're so chill about it. Yeah? Maybe because there's no real damage done other than wasting my time. But my co-workers aren't so cool about it. Recent mass resignations have left us severely understaffed. Additionally, companies are moving away due to the hack hacks of the protests happening. Which means tensions are high all around. That doesn't sound so good. Don't I know it. Anyway, we caught the culprit on CCTV. So I'll be looking into it starting tomorrow. Just hoping it won't get any crazier in the meantime. Could be just a prank, Pops. You think so? Also, hi, Zayden. How are you? Yeah. With what's been going on lately, the suspicion would land elsewhere, right? So the culprit may think they won't get caught. Are you speaking from experience? <laughs> if I say yes, would you let it slide? Depends on what you did. Harsh. But I'm serious. Prank videos are like their own genre online, you know? Slow is fine. It's not a race. People watch that kind of stuff? Oh yeah! It's all about cheap thrills, Pops. A good way to make money, too, if you play your cards right. Oh! The crazier your shtick is, the more views you get. It means more ad money. Lather, rinse, repeat until you push them just a bit too far. Then you get the nuke, and everything will just go poof. And disappear. What's up, anyone, from doing it all over again, though? Because really, all you need to get started is a camera phone and Wi Fi. Everything else just comes down to timing and luck. You should know a lot about this. Maybe I should bring you in for question. Oh no, my manager would kill me! <laughs> Joking. Anyhow. High risk, high reward opportunity with a low entry barrier. It sounds like something else. Oh yeah. Anything goes, reviews. Right, chat. Right. Anything. Honestly, it's one of the reasons I'm on a break at the moment. Oh! It's a long story. I wanted to change the direction of my show for a long time now. What's wrong with it? Well, the views are declining, for one. Why? Not enough pranks? Harsh! Ah, I haven't done those things in a long time. Not that I ever want to get back into it. Anyways, I'm not in a position where I can take that kind of risk yet. Even if I'm totally up for trying something new. People don't like change. <laughs> That's right. If they get bored easily, too. Today's good might be trash tomorrow. But it feels like I'm battling a daily paradox sometimes. You make it sound like the continuity of your work depends on the audience's whims, kid. I guess you could say that. Why? Oh. Pardon? Sorry, I didn't mean to intrude. I was unable to avoid overhearing you. <laughs> it's alright, I know I'm loud. Can you explain what you mean by why? You think the audience is always right? Of course not. Why place so much emphasis on what they want? Why must you follow their whims? I mean, it all comes down to numbers, right? Does it? 
single opinion might be easy to negotiate with. Maybe even 10 or 100, still doable. But to influence the opinion of thousands, millions? Not so easy. My belief is if you can't fight them, join them. Then change things slowly from the inside out. There's no way I can win. No? Why do you think that? My apologies for not providing context. You don't have to, I was just curious. Considering I intruded, it is only fair. I admit that I'm not a big fan of online activities. I find people's conduct very loathsome. That's a strong word. A few years ago, I uploaded my singing reel online. Preparation for my edition as a soprano. A soprano? Really? That's cool! Can I see it? I took it down. Oh, why? I believe she's getting to it, kid. Right, okay. It was something done out of necessity. I recorded the reel using my phone at, the t at home. I ha since I have no previous theater experience with the show. It was not of the highest quality, I admit. Even so, I did post it to a video site, mainly to add a link to my applications. Though I am not sure if it helped at all. It's my attempts to ha uh, have yet to yield results. Right. However, one day, my application received an unexpected response from an auditioner. It was a polite rejection. However, they left me with a courteous suggestion. What did they say? They highly recommended that I moderate my video's comment section. So I checked. It was... a lot. What happened? The comment section was teeming with plenty of... strong opinions. If they can even be called that. What? They were... There were... A lot of comments telling me to stop screaming and take my video down. Because they didn't want to get cursed and die yet. What's with that nonsense? Others questioned my sanity for knowing spreading bad luck with my voice. And the others also wanted to know who and where my handler was. Since there's no such thing as a se sentience for us banshees, I suppose. She is a banshee! <laughs> And she's a banshee that wants to be a singer. Oh, man. That's This guy is straight up Ryuji. I swear to God. He's Ryuji from P5. <laughs> what the F? <laughs> That's real effed up. I I'm not complaining. That's horrible. <sighs> Even with the Vindication Act in place, those pieces of shit still exist, huh? Vindication Act? A global treaty to recognize the sentiency and rights of non-sapiens. Oh, it's, that was Georgie. I thought that was her talking. <laughs> Sapient refers to species that is intelligent and bipedal. Like humans, elves, orcs, gnomes, halflings. You know the type. Huh. Yeah, like, even us satyrs. Yeah, he is a satyr! Got added pretty late into the game, too, you know? Oh. Shouldn't you fit the bill right away? Yeah, but we're all born male. We didn't really have the best reputation, either. Anyway, it took a while for us to finally get recognized by international law. Since the further you are from the likeness of the main six, the slower the process will be. So I'm sure it's been a hard way harder for you, lady. Our numbers are extremely low. Others being unfamiliar with our existence is not surprising to us. Still, it doesn't make it right. But I get it now, you're just saying for the internet. I'm impressed you seem very chill about it. Chill? Do I look chill? 
Uh-oh. Light. How can you be chill? And such blatant disrespect is thrown in your face like that! Whoa! Uh. Don't you wonder what it gives them the right to be so vile? Who do you think they are? Pray tell, what do they feel when they commit such offensive acts? Do they derive some sort of perverse pleasure from the others' suffering? The audacity, I can't! I can't! I see the anonymity of talking through screens. Has afforded people the comfort of disrespecting others without suffering a direct hit to their face with it. Uh, for it, okay. Damn, not again. Just a second, please. Okay! Uh. Ah, thank goodness. Hmm? It's just... Not right. That kind of behavior is just not right. Georgie got- Georgie was like, I already have my wife to deal with at home. I am not dealing with this. And he fucking moved. <laughs> you know what? I respect it. I'm sorry. I've gone too far. It's all right. I admit, I just don't want to hear that the audience is always right. How softly am I talking when I do- okay. Again, Dax, let me know if I'm too quiet. I, I'm going softer for her voice, because I can't do a female voice. And, uh... I don't know if I'm talking loud enough because of that. I can get it like, right up on the mic. Hey, chat. How you doing? It's radio. I'm right here. I'm right up on you. I'm on top of you. How do you feel? How are you doing? You're still good. Okay. <laughs> this is ragey ASMR. ASMR ragey stream one. I don't have a good enough mic for that. Maybe I should save up for a good mic at some point, but I, I also need an audio mix. I, there's a lot of things I need, and my setup is not conducive to it, I assure you. <sighs> because that means my dream has run aground before I can even try. How about if I help you? Oh, don't, don't tell me this is going to be the, like the Lua Bailey of this season. I kind of hope so. I want to see these two get together. Look. I get what you're going through. As a satyr, I had to deal with plenty of numbskulls trying to tear me down just to justify their own inferiority complexes. So believe me when I tell you this. You've got it, what it takes to turn the tables on. How? Easy. You gotta sell yourself. Whoa, kid, slow down. I might be Lex, but I'm still working for the law. <laughs> no, Pops, not that kind. He's got, like, Bailey's face shape, too. Like, the... Yeah, no, the artist. Yeah. Kind of, yeah. I'm trying to remember how, I'm trying to remember how Bailey looked in the original. Honestly, I don't know what uh, much about the opera scene. But I know sirens dominate a huge chunk of the soprano roles, am I right? I want them to be. They wouldn't be this involved with the... I feel like... I don't feel the vibe yet. I, I get what you're saying, but like... This, the, the, the fact that the, both of their storylines start involving each other, like, in this first, like, day, is kind of, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I don't, I don't know either, but I kind of hope so, because... Or at least if he can help her. That's what I want. It's as if they were made for the role. Exactly. So, this is a case of, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. It does mirror the first two, yeah. Which means, no matter what you do or how hard you try, you'll always be an outlier. 
Therefore, if you just compete based on your skills alone, sorry to say this, but you probably won't make it. Wait, hear me out. We've got one awesome thing all those sirens don't have. Huh? A story! A story? Yeah. Imagine. Banshee who dreams of becoming a lead soprano. Or whatever it is that you wish to do on the stage. Pursuing her dream in the midst of all the sirens despite all the odds stacked against her. Isn't that a great narrative? You haven't even heard my singing yet. Have you? I'd love to, of course. But honestly, that doesn't matter as much as you think. What? Our goal is to get your story stuck in other people's heads first. Those people will just scoff at it because of their own dumb assumptions. It's exactly what we want. And we'll blow all their expectations away. By putting you on stage. What stage? And how? Don't worry, I have my ways. No matter how you sing, everybody will be surprised seeing you there. That's when you'll get your time to really shine. What are you talking about? No! What? Why? I just want the chance to properly sing. To show what I'm made of. Okay, I do feel the vibe now. <laughs> yeah, because, like, the way... Because the... A lot of the Bailey, Lua, like, stuff from the first one was, like, it involved, like, really, like, cemented in, like, how they are, or what their species represented, and, like, them kind of battling against that, and this is kind of that way as well, especially with her being a Banshee. Not so much him being a satyr, but... <laughs> I don't know. I want to see where this leads. I know, and I'm offering you a, po uh, a possible way in. Offense, but all of this sounds like you're just. It's as if you're just trying to sell a caricature of me. Of course not! No way! We're gonna see where it leads, but ouch, that kinda hurt a little bit. I'm sorry for being rude. But I don't know you. You don't know me. So how am I supposed to consider everything you said? You don't even know my name. Well, if what you've been doing had worked at all, I would have asked for your name already, don't you think? Hey! I don't know where you're going with that, but I think you went too far, kid. What the hell are you talking about? Ah, crap. Hey, look, I'm sorry. The storm seems to be easing up. I'll be taking my leave. Great. Thank you for coming, Miss... Riona. Miss Riona. We hope to see you again. That conversation certainly took an odd turn. Let me make this point. For all the words you spoke earlier, I feel few were actually intended for me. I was gonna go caps if she didn't give us her name. <laughs> I care. Have a safe trip. Oh, wow, she up. Bad. Bad, Ryuji. Oh, her profile picks her with her hair pulled back. Uh. Sorry about all that. I messed up, didn't I? Can't say, kid. This old man is still trying to figure out what just happened. Oh, man. I don't know what came over me, Pops. I get too hyped up sometimes and I lose my cool. Sorry, just a sec. My manager. The road closure is over, so he's picking me up now. Oh, that's wonderful. Nice. By the way, do you need a ride, Pops? I can drop you off wherever, no problem. Thanks, kid, but it's alright. I'm sure the cabs will start rolling around soon. 
Sure. Yep. Alrighty. Guess I'll be seeing you guys around. Thanks for coming. We hope to see you again. Yeah. Hey, Reggie. Yeah. Nah, it's nothing. Yeah, then. See you soon, Reggie. Pops. Have a safe trip. Well, that was a show and a half. No kidding. Feels like I'm ready to just call it a day. <laughs> as soon as I get my cab, I'll be out of your hair, Reggie. Yeah, please. You know I don't mean it like that. Not gonna lie, though. Listen to those two got me thinking for a little bit. About? Me and my youngest daughter, Missy. Maybe I was too hard on her. I don't know. When you're a parent, it's hard to, uh, when you're a parent, it's hard to choose between supporting your kids' ideas or stopping them from taking things too far. It's always a fine line to tread, for sure. Yep. Uh-oh. It's the missus. You know what? I think I better go. At least if she hears the rain outside, she'll get less mad at me. At least try not to get sick. Get in. But I better go. I bet I better go, though. You take care of closing, Reggie. I do. I hope you get a cab soon. Thanks. See ya. Woo! That was night one. Ugh, what a day. Better clean up and then... Uh-huh. What's this? An old metal lighter with an interesting design card. Huh. Someone must have forgotten this. Better keep safe over the here. It exudes an interesting feel. Okay, now let's wrap this up. Takabi Muruku. Miru? Sweet, nourishing, healthy, and chocolate. Wednesday, September 20th, 2023. Feature of dating. How AI may steal your potential mates with increasing sentiency. Hi, I'm Rage. I am here to steal your wife. <laughs> Why do they do the meme for this, too? What the hell? Oh, uh, that's me, guys. All right there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, let's see. Any new story? Daxter4242 says, Reggie, you robot bitch, get away from my wife. No, I will not. I will not get away. You mean our wife? <laughs> Good morning. Ah! We. Is your dream coming true? Mine might. Ah. Uh... Oh, her last name is Shiven? Lock traffic on I-5 through downtown. I believe you must. Day off, first time in a while. How popular is it? Oh my! Wait, hold on. Lucas follows her. That's funny. Also, holy shit! Lucas has more. Is wait, is Lucas more popular than Rachel is? Holy shit! Who's coming in? Who's coming in? Welcome. Who is it? I missed what Lucas did as a job. He's a, he called himself a lifestyle reviewer, quote unquote. So basically he's an influencer. He's an influencer. 
Yeah. But he's got, like, a manager and stuff, too, so, like, he, I... It's weird. I don't know. Like, he... Yeah, he... They could... Like, his manager's like, yeah, post this, post that. Whatever. So he actually... I think he actually does have a job job, but it's, like... His job is social media. Naya! Hello, sir. Back so soon. I'll be your manager rating. No! No! Your first managerial order is to get away from your wife, and I'm not having it! I, I, I know your twisted ways. Back so soon? <laughs> Hell yeah! There's nothing you can do about it. Wouldn't have it any other way. Aww. If I give the wife, I get the job! <laughs> Fucking the <laughs> fucking trade offer. I get your wife. You get manager job. <laughs> no. Also, you know for a fact I am ungovernable. No, oh, good to know. I would consult her for the deal if, if, if she was real. <laughs> Is everything okay? Oh yeah. Kind of? Maybe? Huh? Okay, I knew it was a long shot, but... Loki? I was kind of hoping the lady from yesterday would be here again. Hi, Key. Oh. You're my first customer today. I can see that. I know it's silly. I mean, what are the chances, right? I just want to apologize properly. <laughs> Doesn't even remember her name. I know, oof. It'd be, it'd be rough out here. So I'm not sure what came over me. But never mind for now. That's not the only reason I'm here anyway. Dang, Ragey, this place really is em is really empty, huh? Right now, yeah, that's about right. The regulars typically show up around two or three hours from now. Yeah, Pops too. Meet Officer Georgie. Yeah, he's a regular, right? Ow! Hi, Morgan. Wait a second, I have a I have a thing. I have a thing I need to double check. So like He doesn't wear pants. Right? Is he just like freeballing it? The Morrigan Anselin says Reiji is a pretty, pretty princess. Fur. I don't know, man. A lot of animals have fur and you can still, like, see it. Right. Not every day, but he does come around at that time as well. I see. And wouldn't it be better to open a few hours later? True. I mean, so I'm, I'm, I'm a, uh, I don't know. You'd ask a very hairy man. Probably get some insight on that. Also, thank you for the drink. The new customers tend to drop by around this time. got me there. I only have much hair overall because he's ginger. We need to find the hairiest man on Twitch. <laughs> we need answers. Either way, it works for me. Because I'm here to do some work. 
Oh, might be on hiatus, but I guess I still gotta post a bunch of stuff. So, got some editing to do. Near the power outlet, there's one near the wall under the table. Wait, thanks. However, there's no Wi Fi here. Huh? What is this, the Ice Age? <laughs> right here. <laughs> Say that. You pants mess up your fur? Maybe that's why this place is so empty. Maybe. I'm joking. At least your brand game is on point here. Brand game? I mean, this place is called Coffee Talk, right? So I thought you'd say something like, We're all about talking, not surfing. Or something like that. What? No? Honestly, I never thought about it that way. That sounds legit. What did he actually say? Okay. Sure, why not? Ah! In that case, you can transfer the tagline royalties to the link in my bio. The licensing fee is free since you're so cool. Thanks. Joking! Anyway, I guess I'd better get a move on over there, huh? There we go. Now I'm ready to place my order. And I am ready to take your order. What would you like to have, uh, what would you have tonight? Hmm. Gotta stay fresh and awake. Maybe a cafe latte? Oh, no, wait. Can you make me a custom drink? Cafe latte with lots of honey? And I mean a lot of honey. Like a whole beehive of it? Well, I remember tasting more honey than milk. So it might as well. Can you try making that for me? I'll do my best. Hey! Cafe latte with lots of honey, please. check something. Also, uh, I just realized, happy, uh, happy 420, everybody. Oh, we have all of our stuff now. There's lemon. There's... Is that mint? We're gonna practice the latte art. Don't worry. Not what I meant to do, okay. I'm gonna make a B. I 
Is that a B? I don't know what I'm doing. It's fine. Everything's fine. Lots of honey. December 3rd, actual fun police, social media connoisseur. Thanks. Even made it look so fancy. Time to give this a try. Cheers. And how is it? Super. This is exactly how I remembered it. I'm glad it's to your taste. Actually, it's not. This is too sweet, even for me. But it's something I drank a lot back in the day. Gives you lots of energy when you got nothing else to eat. Huh. What is it? So you had them in place of meals. Kind of, yeah. I had didn't a lot of have I didn't have a lot of spare cash back then. Heck, I couch surf a lot. Until eventually I moved into my old group's house. But anyway, yeah. Oh god, he used to be did he used to be part of an influencer group? Oh god. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> that's um that's rough, buddy. That that is that is rough. Here takes me back. Huh. What is it? I was thinking maybe that's the reason you can't handle coffee anymore. Think? Yeah. As much as I love coffee, drinking it to replace meals isn't really recommended. Even with lots of honey? Poor man, yeah, I know even with lots of honey and milk milk too it all turns into acid in your stomach oh so not great if that was all that you had right that makes too much sense what a bummer sorry no oh, no you solved one of my life's biggest mysteries probably for that as long as it helps now I can't look at the bead buzzy the same way ever again oh there oh it's squelchy it's squelchy oh it's you too what a surprise long time no see you too they're game devs <laughs> Yeah, it's uh, it's it's Aqua, and where where is uh Myrtle? There we go. Why are why are you not my friends anymore? I'm told me to chill. I don't understand. Why did you leave me? <laughs> Hi, Ragey. It's been a while. How have you been? We were in the area, so we thought we'd stop by. I'm glad you did. Right. It's not like you were trying to change the subject or anything. Hmm? Look, Aqua. All I want is for you to reread their terms carefully. 
and I, I just want you to know if you'll still help me if I accept. I mean, it's all just hypothetical anyway. I always said I'd look good as a pretty princess. I look good in general. Not much can ruin that. The way you're talking about it doesn't reflect that. And it really bothers me. Hmm. Okay, I admit, maybe I got a bit too excited about it. Putting that aside, I just want to know if you're with me in this or not. Because I'm... I'm really feeling it this time, Merle. I really want this game to be out there. Although we're not even halfway done with it yet. And about the terms, I mean, who knows, Myrtle? Maybe those are just what I need. It's to motivate me to work harder. We can completely motivate you, you say. Ha. <laughs> That's just pure recklessness. You know that. Aqua. I know you're not. Look. Let's just give it a rest for now. Okay? Okay. Uh, this has got awkward. Um. Oh! Hey, Reggie. Hello! Sorry you had to see that. No, no, it's fine. You were in the middle of something. Sorry for the hassle. And so this is like really sweet. She said you look good at anything. So now he knows that I look good in nothing. So, you know. I'm just glad you're both here. After such a long while. So, can I get you anything to drink? Yes, just give me a moment. Um. <laughs> We're able to pull up anything and nothing. Exactly. By the way, I don't know if you all uh, went to my about section. Or like, to like my, like, channel page but like i have a new panel down there um I, I only have like five videos you could like pay it's bits it has to be bits unfortunately but you can play videos or just some meme videos but it's bits unfortunately i'll work on other options and some other things i i want to fine tune the it's the same thing that i use for tts i'm using like another thing i'm gonna mess around with that but yeah Maybe I find some more videos. One of those is one of my clips, actually. Ah, oh, yes. Give me a moment. Um, take your time. How about you, Miss Mark? I love a spiced milk tea. Spiced in what way? Some cinnamon would be good. Or whatever you think is better. Okay. I'll have one spiced milk tea. Thank you. 
Oh my god, I haven't heard the I haven't seen the word sachet written out in so long. One's shy of Denny. Sacheting it. Thanks. Enjoy. How is it? Good. I think you nailed it. Glad to hear that. Did I get a get a boop boop? Oh, okay, so we get Myrtles like straight out, like we get everything all at once. Okay, cool. We're back! Are you running a coffee shop? Why did you say that? Did you say shy, Denny? Yes. Put a little cardamom, uh, cardamom and other spices in it. Just so it lives up to the spice department. I see. I suppose you tried it because of the documentary I told you about the other day. You're a good boy, Rachie. What do you- wait, what do you mean? Mellow but energetic. I don't- I don't know how you managed to describe me that well in, like, three words, but damn, that- that hit. Yeah. Watched it yesterday while pulling an all-nighter. It sounded interesting, but I couldn't remember the name. <laughs> I guess I'm ready to order, too. No, I'm a bad boy. I don't do math. Certainly. What will it be? Um, I see you have the new tea selections on the shelves. Are those butterfly pea flowers I see? Yeah, good eye. I've had them before. Pretty often, actually. Especially in the office. How do you like it prepared, usually? I like it best when it's brewed with a lot of mint. Did you make it that way for me? Sure thing. Then I'll have a blue pea tea with lots of mint. Thank you. It looks nice, doesn't it? I was going to comment on that. The color reminds me of the sea. Yes. Oh, wait, hold on. Did we get, um... Oh, we don't get all of Aqua's? What? Oh, was it? really good. I'm happy you like it. When I feel very anxious, I often make this tea. I usually put a little sugar and lemon so, uh, salt in it, too. Really? Salt? Yes! <laughs> well, what's next? You gonna try that salted butter tea, too? I thought you were the one that was gonna try it, Myrtle. Oh, they're, they're, they're mending a little. Oh, they're smiling. Couldn't even begin to imagine how that would taste. What are these tabs? Oh, it's okay. So it's coffee, um, tea, green tea, chocolate, blue pea, and hibiscus. And milk. Southern New EVT says coward move to charge 2,000 points for push-ups. I want to make your night worse. <laughs> I 
Wow, buddy. I <laughs> see how it is. Well, hey, at least you can TTS now. I'm trying to find a happy medium for all my channel point redeems. How many... Do you not have enough points for that? Here, I'll do it for you. I'm sure one of these fuckers has enough points to do it, but I'll just do it for you. There. I'll do it. I'll do it myself. <laughs> you had to use numbers. Ah, oh, there's there's the other one. I was waiting for that. All right, push it time. One, two, three, four, five, six. Dropping give us 20. Hold on, let me do. Five! You get a bonus 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. sitting around as well. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. I actually got my legs kicked up. Wow. All right. All right. Well, the cat's understandable then. All right, we're all satisfied. Making me do physical things. I'm gonna be too raw, I'm not strong enough for push. Okay. I need to, I need to. I, there are not many YouTubers I know that can do push-ups, and that's actually kind of concerning. I'm gonna check on Werther's original. How come so many of us can't do push-ups? Still, no one the salt. I can hit a mean plank though. <laughs> that's good, that's good at least. I need to do more core stuff. I told Myrtle about a documentary on hot drinks around the world the other day. They had a lot of strange recipes. You should w try watching it too, Reiji. Who knows? It might inspire you to make some new drinks. Sure, sounds interesting enough. I should start working out more. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I pay for a gym membership, so I gotta be like, you know, gotta make use of that. I'm spending money on it. <laughs> I my my mentality is if I if I keep the subscription to the gym, and I keep spending money on it. <laughs> That's more of a motivator for me to go. I'll do that thing with like punishment games. All right, hang on. Also, let me do this. Since the <laughs> since the consensus is apparently that's too much, let me let me bump him back down. But also out of spite. <laughs> I'll bump it. I'll bump it down again. But out of out of, out of pure vitriol.
Uh, and the post either made you want to die or you're just sitting down. Well, yeah, the whole yoga thing is like, you're, it's like time under tension, right? So like, that's the main thing that's stressing out your muscle. It's like the, the con, like the con, the extended stretch and the, um, going to make the light cheaper? No, I'm not. That one stays where it is. Be really at you with that, but yeah, no, I I wish I could do yoga again, or I wish I could find a yoga class that I like again. But um, yeah, it's either that or the that's your stabilizing muscles, a lot of it. I really do enjoy overflowing warmth, comforting beverages around the world. The name sounds plain, but the content can be a bit unique. But it's got plenty of normal drinks too. Yes, I'll drink now. Thank you, buddy. Hey, buddy, do you like coffee talk at all? Yeah, I paid for my sub to have more points. <laughs> yeah, that is true. I. Oh, hey, hold on. Do I like the what now? The, the game I'm playing. Because this has, like, this is the second one. This is episode two. And also. <laughs> You only, you earn like, I think like a uh, fifth, like you, it's like 1.2. Oh yeah, I've never seen it before. I'm broke. Relatable. I'll check it out later. Thanks, Masako. If you're back to the game, you're welcome. Get more points. <laughs> Dax is out here being my hype man. He's all, he's the crier on the street corner. Get your Twitch subs here! Get them while they're hot! <laughs> and I'm ready to tackle the night. All right. We're smiling up. Yes, but it's fine, really. She always has like that sus side eye. She's just like... I would donate, but I just spent over $300 in car stuff. I bought more keyboard stuff recently, so that's where my monies went. I just need to free up some time so I can work on my game. Your game? Oh! The one that got showcased at the G Gax something? Gotta fix my radiator hose and tow it. Oh god, the toast the toffees suck, I know. Did your insurance not cover it or anything? Is it Gaxpo? Alright, Gaxpo. That's the one. Cool. I heard it's like hard to get showcased there. It's called the Tone Company. Fair enough. Yeah, that's about as much. This is the last time I had to get my car towed because the battery died. It, yeah, that's about as much as it was. Sue, you must be really good. Oh, no, no, no. I mean, um, I could have done it without Myrtle's help here. For real? Got like an insider entrance or something? Oh wow. Oh, wow, she she kept that awkward. It's up and running now, the fresh coolant. Okay. Wait, I contact with Lucas and I already know the internet likes this one. <laughs> he's he oh wait, he's like his entire fucking thing. He, oh wait, hold on, buddy, here. Let me show you his social media account. Because it, it's all just like... Where's his story from the other day? Oh yeah, no, they, they go away every day, that's true. Okay, so they're, they're just temporary. This is the one that I have for today. There's the space needle. He's got a roof? He is, okay. Oh, I'm right. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Sorry for butting in. One of my crew members is super into gaming, so I hear about it all the time. Anyhow, don't mind me. Please continue.
She got interest from one of her favorite publishers. Is that so? Yes. At Gaxpo, one of uh, their reps came up to my booth on the day Myrtle couldn't make it. I had to stay behind in the hotel to fix a mess in my company's files. Yeah, it was too bad. I was really nervous about... or nervous on my own. Anyway, the rep and I talked about my game a bit. He seemed interested, and there was talk about publishing my game. Ah. At the time, I thought they were just being nice. Meh. But they actually emailed me a draft for their contract last week. Sounds like great news. Am I wrong? Well, I was ecstatic at the time. Uh, there are They are one of my favorite publishers, after all. Right. But... Not to break the uh, non-disclosure agreement or anything. The terms weren't too great. So you do get it. And by the way, you haven't signed any NDA yet, so you're not bound to anything. That's true. But still, I want to act in good faith. What for? The terms were fur the furthest thing from acting in good faith. I may ask, what terms are we talking about here? I'm sorry, I'm just a bit lost. Alright, sorry about that. Sum it up, they're going to invest in the game and cover all the necessary expenses. They'll do the marketing, promotion, and distribution, and all that. Okay. Where's the caveat? But if I'm unable to meet the deadline or refuse to adhere to their requests for changes, or breach any of the stated agreements in the contract, many of which are rather questionable, I must return all of their money, regardless of my progress on the game. What? It won't be cheap at all, mind you. I can only imagine. If I fail to do so, they'll have full ownership of the game. I don't like this. I don't- I don't think this is a good move. I... don't know what to say. That can't be right, can it? So what if they are the ones who break the contract? I get to keep my game. Okay. That's it? Oh no, that's not all. I'll have to return any of the unused investments too. What? That's what I said. Pardon me, but... Are they for real? I said that too! There's still plenty more, but uh... It's alright. I think I get the gist of it. I first read it, I thought, maybe the terms are this way because it's still a draft. I suppose, yes. I also thought, maybe it was something that could still be worked out and discussed. That is, until I asked Myrtle for advice. Let's see. It's a trash contract, Aqua. I know, I get it, but... It's just I keep... I just kept thinking, you know? What if this is how all the contracts are? What if this is the best I could get? It's not, though. What if? She's in the- she- this lady is in the- oh my god. Will you still help me, Myrtle, or not? Is that really what's important here? Yeah, I mean, you're important to her. So, maybe. Probably, yeah. Right now. Come on, Aqua. I know you're not this dense. It would be nice if you heard what I'm actually saying. Not what you think I'm saying. What do you mean by that? Sorry, just a second. Oh. I think I better go. I have to help prepare for a report for a presentation tomorrow. Alright. You gonna be okay? Yes, I think so. How about you, Myrtle? I think I'll stay for a bit. Oh. Okay. Then I'll see you around, Reiji. Bye, Miss Aqua. Save your poem. Are you all right? Yeah.
I just get so frustrated when she's keeping me when she keep yeah she kept asking me hypothetical questions hypothetical questions such as yes if I'd still be willing to help should she accept something like this in the future what kind of question even is that it's as if she doesn't trust me Or anything I say for that matter. I don't think it's because she doesn't trust you or your expertise. From her perspective, everything feels like a potential chance. So to be faced with a questionable contract like that, or her favorite publisher no less, she may very well be just feeling a little shaken up. That's a good point. But I'm with her, right? She has nothing to worry about. Even so, she may still worry. If she's that worried, why don't you just say something like, of course I'll help, but only if the terms aren't so crappy. That should do it, right? Unless she did and she's not convinced, then I don't know. two looking at each other. I thought I tell her that. And she decides to go ahead with it anyway. I know for a fact I won't be able to refuse her at that point. Ah I see. So we already agreed from the start to only work on the game when we have the time, so basically you're not sure if you want to commit. What are you talking about? Of course it's not that. Things change when it start you start involving money in anything. Well, can't really argue with that. I know how some of these companies work. They're looking for ideas from small guys, they find their way to pluck things they want from the project, then trash the rest. No respect for the effort whatsoever. That publisher may be one of her favorites, but it doesn't mean they're a good company. Especially with that garbage contract. It really shows what they truly are. Right. I really like working with her on that game. I honestly do. I love hearing what she wants to tell with her game. We're also not bound by some brand company rules or anything. So brainstorming ways to incorporate our, our ideas into the game is more interesting uh, is interesting and more enjoyable. A good change from what I do during the day as a game designer. Right. I just wanted her to understand that I'm just worried about her. All valid reasons. Yeah, Ray G's right. I wonder. Did you say any of that to your pal at all? What? Why would I do that? Why would- yeah, no, ex I'm honestly, yes! Lucas has a- why would you not do that? Not to be creepy or anything, but when I overheard you guys, it's creepy. Right, sorry. So me being creepy aside, obviously you go- you thought a lot about this. Like, if you, all you talked about was how dumb the contract was, and not any of what you just said, if I were in her position, I'd feel pretty bummed too. Cause I'd be wondering if my partner still had my back, you know? Like, e if they even cared at all. It sounds like this project is her baby. It's like you said, work and relationships don't mix well. So it wouldn't be too far out if she worries about all the same stuff you do. Right? Having said that, I feel even more like an ass about what happened yesterday. It's that it is really 2020, huh? <laughs> Buddy, do I know it? Holy fuck, do I know it? <laughs> We're in that boat together. I 
guess it can come off that way. I just thought it would be given she'd understand where I'm coming from. Maybe I'm taking things for granted. It's me who didn't trust her. And I just didn't want things to change. Embarrassing. Hey, remember the murder hornets that lasted all a week in 2020? I remember the murder hornets. Oh yeah, I do too. Did that, did that just like pop up in the forefront of your mind again? I'm leaving. Alright. Hope everything will turn out well. It's like I never seen them and then they were gone. You know how the news is, they'll, sens they'll sensationalize a lot of things. Have a safe journey home. Yep. Bye. Oh, bye. Wait, I just realized, is his fucking shirt a fake Gucci? Like, is his hoodie a fake Gucci hoodie? Is it supposed to- it's a, is it supposed to say Gucci but with X's? I'm so fucking done. Your Yeezys are fake! You don't even wear them because you're our satyr, but still. What a night. And didn't get anything done at all! It's too bad. Was it that like a regular occurrence here or something? Nah, it's Coffee Talks World's Gucci. I don't know how to spiel it. Oh, that Gucci's right. <laughs> yeah. You're good. I don't know how to read. It's fine. You've been watching me read for I don't know how long. I don't know how. I don't know how this works. Not them specifically, just like in general. Well. You seem used to this. <laughs> so the answer is definitely a yes, am I right? Can you believe I haven't had alcohol yet tonight? I'm about to. I had alcohol in the middle of the day today. So, I can believe anything. I do not condone day drinking. Not all the time. Not often enough. Oh, cool. Cool, cool. That's the real reason why this place is called Coffee Talk, huh? You make people talk. I do? Well, it feels like this whole place does. Like, even when I talk about myself a lot more than usual. Are you not? Yeah, okay. Shh, that's our, that's our, that's our secret for having everybody kind of exposit their life at, like, a coffee shop. It's just the vibe of the place. It's the, that's the secret. It's not kind of weird that everybody's just kind of dumping their lives to the barista. Although it does kind of happen at bars and coffee shops, too, to be honest. It, it happens. I haven't done it personally, but I've had it done to me. <laughs> People talk to me a lot, actually. They tell me things I probably shouldn't know. Huh. Huh. What'd you say? It's kind of weird, but also weirdly cathartic. I like talking to... I talk... Talk, talk. Hockey, talk, talk. I get that a lot. People, I don't know. People are weirdly comforted by my presence. I personally don't understand. Shut. It's a feature. I reckon there's more benefit from talking things out without having to get us to get smashed first. More embarrassing to remember, sure. Great for self-reflection. Good point. Anyhow, before I forget, could you hold on to something for me? 
Huh? <laughs> Why? 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 <laughs> Hello, person I've met for only like I've known only for like a day. I need you to hold on to my fidget spinner. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be like a, a document or like. Oh my god! I was not expecting it to be a fucking fidget spinner. Remember when those were big? Yeah. I still have a fidget thing, actually. I don't have a fidget spinner, but I have, like, a fidget, like... It's called a fidget... Like, it's like a multi... It's a dodecahedron. It's a 12-sided thing. It's got a bunch of stuff on it that I can fidget with. I was still in high school! <laughs> See, I never got into the fidget spinner thing, because I always had my butterfly knives. So, that like, when I fidget with things, it's just one of those. Like, you can... You probably heard it today, actually. I was fidgeting with the one that I have in my hand right now. It's like, it's like right by the mic too, because it's right in front of me, so. Use a deck of cards. Oh, is that a backup? Yeah, I at work I twirl like pens too much, too. Like Eventually when I fuck up, because I'm twirling them constantly throughout the day, I'll drop one and you'll hear it at work. Fidget spinner? My old business card. What? If the lady from yesterday comes again, could you give that to her? You mean Miss Riona? Yes, Riona. I mean, I owe her an apology, you know? I couldn't find her online with just her first name. If it's even her first, her real first name. Her right, fuck. Uh, I thought maybe you could pass that along with my info to her so she can DM me. Also, in this form, it's less likely to get thrown out, right? Right? Really depends on the person. <laughs> Influencers contacted info. Oh my god. It's Jay. It's Jay. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm like, I'm, I, I'm still. I'm still not- I'm still processing the fact that it's on a fidget spinner. I'm still processing it. It's still like... Oh my god. <laughs> oh, do you think she'll throw it away? Honestly, I can't really say. Oh, now you're making me nervous. If you give it back, I might need it right now. Are you sure? No, it's fine. Keep it. I need to keep my resolve. <laughs> How about writing your email down instead? It, feel, it will feel a bit more personal that way. Think so? I thought you'd be more comfortable about contacting me if it's less personal. So I figured her DMing me would be better. But then again... Nah. Uh, nah, you're right. A direct line would be better here. What if she throws it away? At least you'll have sincerely tried. Through that. All right. I'll trust your judgment, Reiji. <laughs> In that case, could you please give it to her when the time seems right? If she even comes back, that is. I'll see what I can do. I'm... I... Hang on. I'm gonna save right here. I... I need a sec, guys. I... I'm... I... It... <laughs> I need... I need a minute. I need a minute. Uh, hold on, hold on. I... I also need to refill my water and stuff, but like... Oh my god, I was not ready for that. I'll be right back. 
But like, give me a sec, cause like, oh my god.
Okay, I'm back. I may have just told my sister about the fidget spinner as well. I had to get that off my chest. Oh my god. All right. Oh my god. I also have alcohol now. <laughs> and a few, and some brownies because I need. At the very least, I needed the alcohol. This man, this man right here, in his fake Gucci with his not Yeezys because he actually doesn't have human feet. Alright, we're back in it. What do you mean, let's go? Just cracking a bottle of armor right now. Alright, sweet. Thanks, Reiji. You're the best. You or not. Oh man. Why is it raining so much? Better go before the rain gets in worse. See you around, Reggie. So long, citizen. Sorry, right, I have a mouthful. Thanks. Safe trip. Take care. Whew. What a day. The bitter heart. The shadows that will help you try to hide. So it looks like it's cinnamon, lemon, and something else. Chocolate? Thursday, September 21st. All right, what's on the news? Let's find out. Gobbly Labs to fight invasive lionfish by releasing killer algae. UFO spotted by Nash Space National Guard fighters this morning. Always change your one OTPs. Government advice on preventing data leaks baffles everyone. Is that... Is that did, did, I I assume they mean one-time passwords, which are changed every time anyway, because they're one time. But I like the thought of the the government just being like, change your true pairings. Oh, wait, hold on. Let's check. Let's check. Let's check. All right, everybody's social media. Let's go. Oh, why is Lewis up here? Is Dev lead at the Discovery National Capital. All right. All right, let's see. They're going from top to bottom to top. Ekachel. Just finished today's dance practice. I'm really, uh, I'm all sweated out, but I'm, my coach said I've, uh, really improved lately. Yay! Oh, Gala! Like that! Yeah! Body drinks restocking new schedule uh, due to red, uh, re new regulations. Cut off order time 1 o'clock. Um, shop closes at 1.30. Delivery from Bellevue. Uh, is she using this as like a notepad or something? What is this? By the way, does your phone battery suck? I've been using this power bank in the past month. Uh, click the link for info. Quality work comes with a price you can't ask for. A thousand dollar quality, you'd ask for hundred fifty dollars. Ask to pay hundred fifty dollars. Respect uh, the people you've decided to work with. <clears throat> oh, I'd like that one. I like seeing who likes what. Georgie, I just stopped these two young fellas for drunk driving, so that's a lesson for y'all to keep your spirits in control. Lucas just found out coffee, honey, and milk drink is not a meal replacement. It's nice when things are communicated properly. The sitting is an art I often take for granted.
click on these to make them go away. The only bad thing about this nice like little phone thing that I've can I click on that? They, they didn't let me do it. They, they don't let me buy it. Let me buy it. Missing one? Oh. Yeah, but the, the um what I'm trying to say here. The, the bad thing about the, them having like an in-game phone is that I have to clear the notifications and like it just bothers me if I don't clear the notifications. There's an eerie atmosphere out there tonight. It was like a night for old friendships and new acquaintances. That's, a, that's one hell of a hint. Hmm. Is anyone there? Hello, you gave me a start. You're a Nekomimi, right? You're gonna transform any second now? Or maybe not. Lua! Hey, Reiji! And hey, new customer. To say hi and goodbye because I don't want to expose you for this game, but yes, I played the first game. Hi, Coral! Thank you for popping by. But yeah, I hope you get to play this soon because it came out while well, it released today. But I hope you get to play it soon. I am so ha I am so excited. I want to play so much of this. Oh man, you but yeah, go away. No spoilers. Goodbye. I appreciate you. Love you. Mwah. Anyway, continuing on. I hope you're gone. If you're speak to Al forever, hold your peace. And hey, new customer. And hi, Miss Little. I don't think this is the coffee drinking sort of cat. No, it would appear not. You have a new pet cat, then? I'm not quite sure. This is my first time seeing this little one. Are you sniffing me, kitty? You want cuddles? All right, all right, no cuddles. Cats. Indeed. I wonder if it's lost, but it doesn't have a collar, so it might be a stray. It's cute, though. It would make a nice mascot. I would think that's up to it, not us. Cats. All right. Oh, it's passed out now. Anyhow, it's been a little while. It has. Last time I saw you was, well, over a week ago, wasn't it? What have you been up to? Honestly. Mostly work, as usual. I won't lie, I'm pretty beat. Did you just leave the office? Yes. But in my defense, I spent the last hour looking at wedding dresses on Tomodacho. Oh, that sounds like fun, doesn't it? It's not unfun. Hmm, that's a moderately enthusiastic response. How are the wedding preparations going? They're going. And going. Um. I might need a drink before I answer that. You certainly look like you could use something warm. Warm and cozy, yes. Milky and soothing with just a bit of warm spice. I'm going to hit my pillow soon, so something that will help me sleep. And I can see you have some snazzy new ingredients. You have blue pea and hibiscus now, yes. That sounds interesting. I'd like to try the hibiscus then. Milk and warm spice then. Alright, so... Up, up. Cinnamon. Hibiscus milk. wake you up. Is 
nice. Dude, hers is so pretty. I want to see Bailey's new one. I assume we're going to see Bailey again. Goes the mascot. Maybe it'll come back later? I bet it will. Cats always have reasons for their actions. Even if they're often rather mysterious ones. That's true. It's cats, am I right, gamers? Even though I'm pretty sure most of us are cat owners. Anyhow, here's your drink, Miss Lua. Oh, this smells lovely. It's also a lovely color. And it tastes lovely. <laughs> Where it's in the it's in the drawer. There's his regular stuff and then there's his other stuff. Kick out on you, Ragey. You're always a sight for your sore taste buds or something. I'm glad you like it. I love it. All right, so the wedding preparations. Do, do, do. getting married, of course. Oh, yes, absolutely. After everything we've been through? I'm not about to back down now. Yeah, this is still very much my person. With long ears and all. And none of those pesky cold feet. That sounds like good news. No cold feet, no cold anything. In fact, my stress is so ru running so high. I feel like I've I have steam coming out of my horns. Doesn't sound like good news. Yeah. It's just such a big thing, you know? It's like, that's all we talk about. We're not making much progress. We're not further along than we were weeks ago. You have different expectations of the day? I don't know. I'm not even sure I know what my expectations are anymore. Look at all the weddings on Tamata Chill. They all do this special over-the-top stuff. I don't have any original deals like that. What about Mr. Bates? He enjoys creative endeavors, doesn't he? He does, but that's another issue. My parents are willing to pay for part of the wedding. I earn a good living, so I can cover most of it. I wants to contribute his share, but he can't really afford it. And as you know, his parents aren't in the picture anymore. You still feel guilty about that? No, I don't think so. If I've learned anything, it's that you need to let the people you love make their own choices. But I am concerned. Both about by dropping all the savings on this stuff, and about him trying to guess what I want, rather than expressing his own wishes. It sounds like you're putting a lot of pressure on yourself. I'm trying to make sure everyone's happy. Maybe. But I guess that's unavoidable, right? I like how, um, with the customers that we've had from the first coffee talk, uh, like Lua and, like, with, um, Myrtle and Aqua, uh, and even Georgie, we're quite familiar, and we're a lot more forthcoming with our advice and, like, trying to work things out with them 
Uh, whereas with um, with Lucas and Riona as the new ones, we we don't really know. It, like we're not as familiar with them, and we're not like approaching that as they're like we're not as involved as the as our character. Like we're not involving ourselves as much with them. That's pretty, I don't know. I just like 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 I just with how we are with Lua. We're just very involved with her already. Oh my God, Neil! Is this the space person you told me about weeks ago? The one who used to come to the cafe? I thought it might be them, but I'm not sure now. They didn't seem to react to my greeting. Besides, last time I saw we saw Neil, he had changed his name to Silver. And he looks rather more human. I see this is all very mysterious. Also, did you hear them come in? I didn't, but then I rarely do. They're stealthy. Bartender, what does a girl have to do to get a drink around here? Pour me a stiff one. Beg your pardon? This isn't quite that kind of place. Isn't it? Research indicates that this is the way one should order a drink. A place of public consumption. Sounds like your research was based on orc westerns. Is there anything wrong with orc westerns? We rather enjoyed them. No, I guess not. They're just very different from reality. In what ways? That, um... It would take a very long time to answer that. I guess the better question is, how are they similar? How are they similar? I did say it was a better question. That's fair enough. I suppose the honest answer is... The way people feel emotions is different. It's similar. They are ambitious and have dreams. They want things and sometimes get jealous of others. But also how they help it, uh, each other out. And how they fall in love. Sounds like Earthlings have very busy feelings. Oh, I gave I gave Neil a fucking like robot voice last time. I don't know who this is. I guess we do. Are your people very different in that respect? We are. Although we want things to. But it appears that Earthlings have at least 94.328% more emotions than we do. How would you distinguish between them all? We have trouble with that, too. <sighs> to be honest, sometimes we don't. Reading others isn't easy, or is understanding ourselves, for that matter. That adds some spice to life, I guess. It sounds to us like it would be helpful to have those emotions displayed, especially in movies. Perhaps you could write them at the top of the screen. Some of from the 1920s would certainly agree with you. But, pardon me. You're not Neil, are you? Or Silver. Indeed, we are not. Our name is Amanda. Please, they're on the they're on the they're on the app. They're on the app. Where are you? So there are several of you here on Earth. There are a great many of us everywhere. Our average density is 3,450.45 per galaxy, but this is not the topic of our present conversation. No, you wanted a drink, right, didn't you? We do wish to absorb some liquid matter, yes. Similarly to what uh, the purple Earthling has been doing. The purple Earthling? That is certainly a uh, description. Is it wrong? Would it be more accurate to describe you as the four appendages, Earthling? Goofy, you mean my horns and my ears? Um, uh, Miss Amanda? We usually avoid addressing customers by the number of their appendages. 
Oh. We apologize. We cannot address the the customer by the by name as we do not know it. Oh, I haven't introduced myself. That's my bad. I'm Lua. Lua. Lua? Lua. Yes? It is a very pleasing sound. Oh. Well, thank you. We wish to absorb some liquid matter as Lua has been doing. Of course. And do you have an idea as to what kind of, um, liquid matter that might be? Something bright colored and memorable. If you want to drink, our first drink on Earth to be an experience we shall never forget. No pressure, Reiji. It's quite all right. You're born to rise above this kind of to this kind of challenge. That's the spirit. Any other ideas, Miss Amanda? We want the taste to be very spicy. We know that some places serve weak drinks. Do bipeds with female denominations. Our research has determined that behavior to be undesirable in 99.9999% of occurrences. Fortunately, this isn't that kind of place either. Indeed, so you'd like something vivid and spicy. What if it was, let's say, blue and gingery? We do not know what gingery means, but blue and gingery sounds good to us. Alright, so we'll do a... Let's get the ginger in there. I guess... Double down on the ginger? I think. Is that blue and gingery, so... <laughs> she left the first stage blank. Blue lightning coming right up. This is vivid indeed. Now let's try. Is it the finger again? Yep. Hmm, this is interesting. I heard that we might struggle to experience taste. But we can certainly feel the kick of this. Your reputation was well deserved, Reiji. I don't know what kind of reputation is that? It sounds like we're just getting around. Soon this place will be become a hipster den. Probably start looking for an alternative haunt. I hope not. I would miss you a lot. Miss, uh, you a lot, Miss Re Lua. Besides, isn't that what a hipster does? Go to places only before they become cool. Touche. I guess you'll be stuck with me a while longer. You wouldn't have it any other way. Now, Miss Amanda, what was that about my reputation? We heard about you from our sibling, formerly known as Neo. I see. Sibling, huh? That isn't a future hipster den. This is an alien den. You should consider rebranding as Cafe Close Encounters. That makes it sound like a... rather different type of place. Huh. So what brings you here, Amanda? Please define your question. You mean here on this planet? That too, but also here in this cafe. We are on this planet on a research and rescue mission. Is that like a research and rescue? Perhaps it is a mission to gather numbers for research, as well as to rescue our sibling. We are in this cafe to wait for them. We made an appointment, as is the custom here. They should arrive in 2 minutes, 3 seconds, and 12 milliseconds. Pardon their roughness of our... the roughness of our estimate. That's more than good enough. You are very kind. Reiji has mentioned your sibling a few times, I think. Silver, right? Indeed, we are a part of the same hive mind. A hive mind? That sounds pretty amazing. But that, doesn't that make appointments less useful? That would have been true some time ago. But Neil, now known as Silver, is becoming more human by the day. Their connection to the hive mind grows tenuous. Oh. 
must feel a little lonely. Lose your connection to your family when you've been so close. No! No, Lua, don't think about Bailey! No, it's fine! Bailey cut that on his own! No, don't don't do that! Don't think about it that way! No! Uh perhaps. But what does it mean to be lonely? It's uh you think about other people and they're not here. And that makes you sad. It makes you feel like you have a weight on your chest. Like things that usually feel good to you lose a lot of their appeal. Thank you for your explanation. We think we see. We do not know. Perhaps it is a little lonely. We cannot answer this with more than a 61% certainty. Um, hi everyone. Hi Amanda. Speaking of a space person, here comes my former regular. Ah, I apologize. I haven't been coming by often enough lately. Hi! I'm Lua. Nice to meet you, Lua. I'm Silver. Does he have like a does he have like a regular profile now? Why is it painted like that? Why is it? Does he have an American flag background? I've heard a lot about you. Have you? Probably pictured me in a bigger suit. I guess so, yes. A bit like your sibling here. I understand, but I've been undergoing many changes lately. I let go of the suit. This war makes me feel truer to who I am now. I also changed my name for the same reason. Have you been waiting long, Amanda? Not unduly. This is a bit awkward. Just a bit. It's always like that with them, though. Amanda. Yes? You should know that. I've been missing you a lot. What is miss? Is it like being lonely? Yes, it is. When did you learn what lonely is? We have been told that is the name of the feeling that we have when we think about you. That's... I... I just... Bring it in. Bring what? Oh! That's one long hug. It's so cute. I can hear you, you know. Ahem. Right. As we were saying, we appreciate you were being only three milliseconds late. <laughs> it's good to see you haven't changed. You have. And yet you haven't. Now that you are close, you feel part of the hive again. And your presence is similar to what it always was. It makes me really happy to hear that. You should order a drink as is customary. We can proceed with our discussion of the mission. The mission? Oh, didn't Reggie tell you about that? Not really. Well, the reason I came here in the first place was to find love. You mean to reproduce with the local species? That's another way to put it, yes. I think I remember you putting it in those terms yourself, Silver. I did, yes, but that was a long time ago. I'm going to tell you everything. First, Amanda is right. I'd like to order a drink. I can taste them properly now, so I enjoy them a lot more. Happy to hear that. What would you like? I'd like something new and unique. I want to explore all these new sensations. Nothing too strong, please. I don't have the same tolerance as before. 
Also, I'm in the mood for something a bit sweet. Well, maybe with a touch of freshness. Something new, but not too strong. A bit sweet, a floral and refreshing. Maybe blue? Oh, I do love blue. Something sweet, floral, refreshing, and blue, though, please. Alright, let's go with this. Let's go with, uh, sweet as honey. Would that, would that mellow it out? Ginger would be too strong, I think. So, yeah, let's go with mint. Uh, yeah. Bro! Oh, that's pretty. That's really pretty. Oh, I got a little bee stick in there! That's cute. One bright flower bed for the silver person. They really went to town on all the, um... He also only has the... Neither of you have anything on your profiles yet. This definitely looks unique. I can't wait to try it. Oh, yum, it's delicious. Drinking through my mouth makes such a difference. To be honest, I never expected to like it this much. But now I can never get enough of it. The drinking through the, dove, the glove does look uncomfortable. It is a very different experience. Not entirely unpleasant. No, it's also nice in its own way. I like that they have the same color for their names! Because Neil's used to be orange, but now it's silver, and then hers just reflects his. It doesn't convey taste in a way a mouth does. Much more about the sensation. That definitely makes it intense. But I'm happy I get to drink Rage's creations the way they were intended. As for the mission... Yes, the mission. It has run into some difficulties. Difficulties of what nature? Well, um, the truth is, I still have trouble, some trouble finding myself a date. What is a date? It's a step you need to take before I'm um, coupling up. You meet somewhere, you talk, you get to know the person. Not having a hive connection sounds exhausting. It can be a challenge, to be honest. In another way, it's wonderful. Without the hive connection, when you meet someone, it's always a surprise. They react in ways I didn't expect. In ways I wouldn't. And every time I learn something new. About earthly species. That too, certainly. But also about myself. Yeah! <laughs> Nailed it. definitely what being with someone is about. Every time you're honest with the person you love, you get out of your comfort zone and become a better person yourself. That sounds complicated. We need to make further computations to understand. It's different from what we're used to, but it's also pretty fun. They're pretty great. I mean, it sounds to me like you've got it figured out. Surely your date should go well enough. Thank you, you're very kind. And if I may say so myself, I think I have made some progress. If I did get a date, I think it would go better than before. What's the problem, then? Well... You're shy? He's shy. Don't tell me he's shy. Tell me- Don't tell me he's shy. Seattle's a very big city, even by our standards. Everyone is busy running around. People aren't very trusting, not like in romantic movies. You can't just ask someone on the street to go on a date with you. It sounds like you tried. Yes, I tried several times. I even sat on a plaza for a few hours with a date me placard around my neck. That is, um... Not an optimal strategy, yes. I've realized that since. Most, but people mostly seem a little scared. I hear most people meet their parents at work. Is that something you could try? Or, wait, wait. I hear most people meet their partner. Fuck. Oh my god, I was like, what? Why are you, why are you talking about parents? Partners, I am dyslexic. I am very dyslexic.
Maybe later on, I don't know. But at the moment, I'm afraid my work doesn't attract the right sort. I didn't know you found a job, Silver. Oh yes, I did a few months ago. I decided to open up a cafe. Really? Does that mean Raging has competition? Not at all, I would never want that. It rather feels like a small way to start a family tradition. Interesting. Okay, so like at the end of Coffee Talk One, I think it's the, I think it's if you get the true ending, like if you do good enough, you get it. Um, you find out that uh, the reason you've opened this cafe and everything is to help people along and stuff like that, because it turns out due to some wibbly wobbly timey wimey space bendy shit, because that's how Neil or I guess Silver and Amanda species work is they're multi-dimensional and they don't really necessarily follow the same course of time and space as we do uh you are silver's kid so spoiler for that sorry so that line just fucking hit it's just like oh yeah i'm starting a family tradition and he looks at you and i'm like well fuck you i was here first technically by human standards After all, I, tr uh, I tried all that, I was running out of ideas, so I decided to reinstall Lonely Heart, like I did when I just arrived here. Online dating does sound like a reasonable solution. I thought so too, but the amount of dates I've gotten since I downloaded it is... Based on the surrounding parameters, we will guess... Absolute zero. That is accurate. Oh no. You know why? If I'm being honest, I think I have an idea, but it might sound strange coming from me. The online dating process feels a little... Oh, it feels a lot... Alien. Please expand your explanation. You mean it lacks earthly species? No, it has earthlings in all shapes and forms. But it feels impossible to connect to them. I was much more successful at it when I first tried months ago. But now, it's a little like... How my connection to a hive mind has been recently. I'm part of it, to some extent. I feel like if I can just reach out to it, I'll find understanding. Well, then I do reach out. And I only find silence. That's pretty sad. Sorry, I'm making everyone gloomy now. No, don't worry about that at all. I'm just wondering if I've got friends I can set you up with. But they all have partners. You're very kind. I'll find some sort of way eventually. It's pretty important that I do. It's an existential issue for some people. Yeah, me, me. I need to exist. I need this. You need to fuck so I live. will help. I don't know. I really appreciate your offer, Amanda, but even after spending years here, I still struggle with it all. When I first arrived, it was hard for me to even hold the conversation. Now, I think I can read people a little better, but it's still... You are looking... You are not looking for conversations yet, are you? You wish to connect to a hive mind? And you have found it easier when you first arrived. Is that not what you said? Yes, that's true, but... We are a hive mind, and we have just arrived here. We will help. It, sound, it does sound reasonable. I suppose social media can be a bit like a hive mind sometimes. But there's no harm in trying, right? Seattle is a big city. Even if you fuck up, there's plenty of people out there. Well, I guess that's settled. I'll show you how the app works when we leave here, Amanda. We are prepared. We will gather intelligence and draw conclusions. With our high powers and your human knowledge, based on your previous experience and your new skills, 
We estimate our odds of success at 100%. Damn, she is confident. Let's go. Let's get you fuck. I like your confidence. Yeah, I like your confidence. Amanda always was a force of nature. We do not know what that means, but it sounds complimentary. We are pleased. As for... Wait. What is... We have to go now. But... What happened? Uh... I'll explain everything later. All right, Reiji, Lua. You soon, I hope. We... No time, let's go. Well, that was odd. I guess that was rather sudden. That was a rather sudden departure. You're gonna be all right. Oh, is it who I think it is? Yep, it is. Good evening. Evening, Mr. Agent. You two know each other? The agent here has been asking about our customers in the past. I trust tonight he's come for a late night coffee? Sadly, no. I'm here on official business. Not serious. It is very serious, miss. Lua. Miss Lua and Reiji. You know why I'm here, don't you? Well, if it's not for coffee, honestly, I'm at a loss. Got the little flashy thing. Is that how you, you want to play it? What about you, Miss Lua? Want to make an educated guess? An educated guess? I swear I filed my tax return months ago. I advised at the same time, so that can't be it. I have no clue. You two? You take me for a fool? Uh... We would never. You make things myself clear, then. Have there been alien sightings in this cafe recently? Alien sightings? Right, but that sounds kind of far-fetched. Think again, both of you. Think carefully. If I were you, I wouldn't tell any lies. This is getting old. We didn't do anything wrong. We don't have to answer any of your questions. Actually. Actually, nothing. I know my rights. You have no jurisdiction to come here and act like a big shot. I've never seen anyone in this cafe who doesn't belong here. So I suggest you take your suspicions elsewhere. And leave this place in Reiji alone. My investigation? Your investigation means nothing to us. I feel myself getting angry, Mr. Agent. And trust me. You do not want to see me angry. Hey, don't you dare put your hands on me. I did no such thing, not yet at least. Very well. I'll go for now, but this isn't over. I, stay, I won't stand quietly while aliens invade Seattle. Suit yourself. You'll be only be wasting your time. I'll be the judge of that. Good night to you. Oh, that was impressive. Well, I may be on the quieter side, but I'm still a succubus. I'm glad you're my friend and not my enemy. Huh. Truth be told, I don't like to antagonize people. But I guess sometimes it can't be helped. Yes. What that guy was really after? He's an alien immigration agent. He's been after Silver for a while now. Back when Silver was called Neil, and I uh, looked like Amanda. Doesn't make me like him anymore. I came very close to clipping him in his smug face, to be honest. 
I mean, if I didn't touch him in the end, despite what he thought. No, indeed, you didn't touch him. What do you mean? Seems like an important ID card. It'd be a shame if someone were to lose it. Well, the agent had this on him, and... Now he doesn't anymore. Naughty, ragey! Didn't think you had it in you! Ah, trust me. There's a lot to me that doesn't come across immediately. This certainly is an interesting looking ID card. I'm sure someone creative find a good uses for it. My sentiments exactly. Well, I guess you have some time to consider what to do with it. And who to pass it on to. Indeed. Anyway, this shook me more than I'd like to admit. I'm sorry. Really not your fault. But I'm going to go and spend some time with my fiancé now. Which will be all of 30 seconds. Before I start snoring on his shoulder. That sounds pretty good. Say hello to him for me. Want to? Second, Atlantic countries to sign multi-billion dollar deal for education system improvement. What returning to the office means for Nicomenes. The pecker almost pecks through a whole utility pole. Strong beat. 10 X plus 30 Y over 7 times 15 equals 235. Start the day. Damn. All right, let's see what everybody's stories are like. Let's go. Oh, we have Rachel in our friends list. Do you think a satyr would look good with, like, tattoos? Asking for a friend and not for me at all. Mr. Hyde just watched this movie about a vampire. About a vampire calling himself so vegan by drinking animal blood. I tried it once, it was neither satisfying nor synthetic spectrum. Also, a vampire getting pregnant and using. Working on something curious? <laughs> I, I, again, I like because Lucas is an influencer, he's liking like Rachel stuff as a both celebrity esque. Car is down, we'll resume the look. Oh, does she have the look? Like, okay, so she has a look for him. something. How are you feeling, Miss Rachel? Good as can be. Yeah, hon. What is it? Oh, nothing. I think I'll never get used to seeing a Nickelodeon transformation as well. In a good or in a bad way? It's the rain. There we go. It was like. There we go. In a good way, of course. It's quite magical. Thanks. Do you need anything? Towel, perhaps. Oh, 
<laughs> wow! Wow! I would literally go to the, the office every day in a wedding dress if only the skanks at HR would allow it. Damn, Lua. It's pouring outside when you came in. You have a hair dryer? A hair dryer? No, unfortunately, we don't. And nope, I'm good. Sure. Aw, oh, Rage, a little rain won't hurt me. I'll be fine. Alright, if you say so. I know, I'm no longer a kid, okay? It's been three years already. I age two, you know. Uh, it has nothing to do with that at all. Last thing I want is for a star to get ill because of poor service here. And you just have to treat me real nice about making me a special drink. A special drink? What do you have in mind? Something milky and slightly sweet. And some brightness to negate this gloomy weather. Some brightness, huh? As in flavor or color. Up to you. I mean, different colors usually have different effects, right? Right, I'll try. Yay! Oh, no coffee, please. Can you summarize your order for me? A colorful non-coffee latte with honey. Of course I should shave my fur. I'm using the tat otherwise. Jeez. Bare satyr legs. So smoky and how sweet is that? It's pretty sweet. Oh. Okay, I'm going I'm going by a guide by the way as well, just to make sure I don't fuck anything up. But like Apparently you can give her the fidget spinner in this on this day, so I kinda wanna do that, just cause. Sweetheart latte. Fidget spinner, baby! Alright, let's try and make it fancy. I thought it would. Okay. I don't know what I'm doing. Again. not work at all. I 
accidentally. Hold on. I can. Maybe. I'm trying so I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Oh well. I know what that is. It's just a splash. Snowflake esque. We're done. Fuck it. What's this? It's so 2017. Why are you giving this to me? Oh. Son, isn't he that Seder influencer? I follow this guy. He's fun. He was here? Cool. I don't get what you're giving this to me, though. Alright, sorry about that. Alright. Let me know what you think about this. It's cute! Also, it's pink! Yep. What do you call this again? Uh, hmm. We call it... Sweetheart Latte. Ah, cute. Thank you. Just give it a try and let me know what you think. Okay! I garnish that with rose petals? We get really fancy. How much do people pay for their drinks here? Oh, we don't charge enough. Hmm. It's not a strawberry loss today, is it? It's too sour for them. Don't tell me just yet. It, let me guess. Okay. Mm. Cranberry? No. But now that you mention it, it does have a similar taste to cranberry. But it's not that, right? What is it then? It's hibiscus. Oh. How do you like it? I love it. It's sweet, tart, and creamy at the same time. Why sweetheart latte though? Well, it tastes both sweet and sour. It contains milk, so it's creamy and comforting. Like a sweetheart. Aw. Sweet, sour, and comforting, huh? Speaking of sour, I'm surprised the milk isn't all curdled up. I remember at a party someone tried to mix a cocktail using lemon soda and milk. It was yucky. It's because you need to use the right ratio of ingredients. Then you have to mix them at the right temperature. Additionally, you have to froth it to avoid curdling and... So what you're saying is, it's not something I can make myself. Of course you can. Well, why make it yourself when I'm always at your service? Damn, I am smooth! Let's fucking go! <laughs> Okay. 
Excellent response, five stars. This one have you gotten so smooth, Reiji? Only happens on the rarest of occasions. So, it's best if you don't get used to it. <laughs> so, sweetheart latte, huh? The fussy but comforting sweet and sour. I see. At any rate, has it really been that long already? My last visit here was probably over a year ago, wasn't it? I believe so. It was around the time your images started appearing on buses. Right. Things just took off and suddenly I had no more free time. How are you hanging? Busy, but it's good. Great, even. A lot is happening, actually. Like, I've been busy shooting new music videos and such. A lot of photo shoots, too. I'm also set to appear on several shows and podcasts. No! Creating a new single. Oh, is it that so? Uh huh. That's great news, congrat. Nope. Don't congratulate me yet. Oh, okay. I'm still uh, in the process of making it. More ways than one. What do you mean? <laughs> I'm actually creating this song this time. Oh, wow. And I'll be collabing with AJ. Wait a second. You mean... The guy who was always on your playlist. Jeremy Gendry. That's really cool! You mean... This man! <laughs> is he, like, literally all of them? Yeah, he is. to hear it. I also had no idea you made songs. Yeah. I know I don't look it, but truthfully, for time when I was a kid, it's always been a dream of mine. Writing songs? And dancing. Or specifically singing and dancing to my own songs. A one Nekomimi pop-up concert. A pop-up concert? You know, a concert that pops up randomly. See, it happens sometimes in malls or in popular busy street. Ah, yes. I see what you mean. I miss it and poof, it's gone. Leaving only memories of a one-of-a-kind show with a one-of-a-kind of experience. It sounds rather exciting, actually. Right? I guess I've always loved being on stage. But you know, we all wanted to become everything when we were kids. As you grow up, you have to pick your battles. And for me, singing and dancing just come much more naturally than creating my own music. Ah. At least until now. I thought to myself, if I can't do it alone, then I'll make it with someone who definitely knows what they're doing. Definitely chose the right guy. Right? I'm taking in fresh inspiration even now. Who knows, maybe it'll get inspired from your drinks too. But I'm so excited you can't believe! So, keep an eye out for it, okay? Whenever it's out, I mean. Do. Ah! Huh? I knew it. Blackout. Yeah. It's happened before, huh? Only when the weather gets this bad. Give me a quick second, please. I'll turn on the generator. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> staring at each other. I love the, the I okay, I, I don't know what it is about like cat side eye specifically, but I fucking love it. I think it's so funny. You Oh Miss Riona, welcome. Hello. Sorry about my absence earlier, I was just turning on the generator. Yeah. It's 
Rachel. Is everything all right? Yep. I was surprised by the thunder for a second there. Yeah, well, everything should hold on for now. Okay. Happy to see you again, Miss Rio. How are you feeling tonight? Honestly, not the best. I'm sorry to hear that. Can you make me something nice with a bit of sweetness? Of course, anything you want. I recall last time you suggested an interesting drink to me. Something with blue tea and milk. It's about right. Please prepare that for me. Make it ever so slightly sweeter this time. It's been quite a day. I think I deserve the trip. Roger that, I can do it. I have just the perfect drink for you. And a blue latte with a hint of sweetness, please. So we did a blue latte before, so... Sweetness means honey. Honey, okay. Do I- now do I fuck it up with latte art? I- I- I don't think I should. Oh wait, what's this high low? What's that? Oh, okay, that's just the meter for that. What a day. <laughs> Dream in blue. And influencers, personal contact info for a certain sum. Here you go. Just gonna serve it. I they look so nice, I don't wanna f them up most of the time. They just look nice. Also, hold on. Give me one second. Just need to uh make a quick skedaddle. Just real quick, not like last time. See, like I promised, not that long. Okay. Where is my mouth? An email. Oh, is it from that person from before? Lucas, wasn't it? He wants me to contact him? I'll think about it. That's all he- that's- hey, that's all we ask, is that you just think about it. 
Thank you. You're welcome. One dream in blue for the lady in blue who's got the blues. But I'm not wearing blue though. You have that cool blue thing going on. I love it, thank you. How do we get two? Oh shit, Gala! We didn't make any progress from the Riona though. I guess Gala's coming up. Aw, Aqua's just like, I just saw a little kid call, uh, and her mom walking hand in hand. It made me feel so warm in my chest. I guess I'm calling home tonight, or my mom tonight. Yeah, that's right, she did have a really good experience. Like, her, uh, like her, her and her mother were, like, really close, I think, in the last game. Nice callback. Anything else you need? No, it's fine. Thank you. Uh, just one of those days? I suppose. It's one of those moments when it seems like everything is collapsing simultaneously. Not necessarily great by any means. I know how that feels. Want to talk about it? Rachel is feeling generous today. Good evening. Ah! Damn, Gala, why do you still have so many bandages? Long time no see! Hey, Rachel. Still a hospital admissions officer here. I know, I'm just kidding. Welcome, Mr. Gala. Hey, Reggie. I'm just here for a quick drink before I get to work. Uh, looks like I'll have to take a breather first. I'll have to agree. Please make yourself at home. So... You were saying... Huh? The lady and I were in the middle of a conversation. We were. Maybe at the beginning of one. I'll back off if I'm being too nosy, though. I'm just very happy today. Let's see. Should I move over there? No, you're fine. I'm curious about how you've been doing, too. Gotta keep, gotta keep the momentum with sister over there. Alright then, please don't mind me. This reminds me strongly of my very first visit here. Hmm? To be frank, this may be the place where people ask me the most questions. Is that a good or a bad thing? I'm not sure yet. But I do not mind it too much. <coughs> Truthfully, I do not interact with many people on a daily basis. Since I'm on the road most of the time. Is that so? What do you do for a living, if you don't mind me asking? I'm a Groover driver. But I only do intercity deliveries, mostly. Sounds tough. It's not as bad as it sounds. I quite enjoy driving. It helps clear the mind sometimes. Right. That's true. I drove a cab in Manhattan back in the early 60s. Did? Yeah, but I had to stop after a few months since it got pretty dangerous. Dangerous? How? Because people kept trying to pick a fight with me. Oh. I just had a few people trying to skip paying fares or rob me. That sounds so terrifying and dangerous. Well, it was back in the early 60s. People weren't as kind to us as they are now. But I get why you like driving. 
I always enjoy the long drive back and forth from airports. I see. Prior to focusing um, exclusively on delivery, I used to accept passengers as well. Oh, why the change? I guess 7 out of the 10 passengers would cancel on me. Usually right after they entered my car as well. Which resulted in my suspension. What? Why? Because I terrify them. Ugh. That's just rude. I agree with Miss Rachel, it sounds so unreasonable. I must admit, I looked significantly different back then. Uh, it was because I never had to deal with so many people before. I was living in seclusion far away from the big cities up until that point. And so, during the appeal period, I attempted to make myself appear less frightening. In the meantime, I was prudent to make deliveries. Right. Turns out that I enjoy doing deliveries much more than I expected. So I rescinded my appeal. Additionally, the schedule flexibility allowed me to focus more time on my training and auditions. <laughs> Did you say auditions? For what? Uh... I've been auditioning for a soprano role. Really? That sounds so cool. No, it's... no. It's not cool at all. Why do you say that? I've tried for years and I've yet to land a single role. Oh... I also lost air pressure in one of my tires, by the way. Really? Yes. The officer already warned us about that, too. However, I'm not quite sure if it's related to his case. I'll let Officer Georgie know about it when he comes in. Thank you. So yes, not a good day. I'm sorry to hear that. It's fine. I'm used to it. Aw. I know, Rachel. Aw. Aw. Sorry, don't mind me. I'm just gonna check my messages. Um, okay. What about you, big guy? Nice to see you again, Rachel. Oh, same. You must have been busy. I haven't seen you around here in a while. How's Andrew? That's fine, he's pretty busy too. Not as busy as you, it seems. I've seen him here at least every other month or so. Really, Reiji? You won't let me stay out late on my break, and he comes here to see all of you? Uh, or, well... Just kidding, I know he comes here often. It's fine, he's old. He needs breaks more than me. Right. Being able to unwind becomes more important as you get older. Sure, he gets his yearly checkups, though. He'll do. So what's with, up with you these days? Not a lot, but oh. I have a small problem at work, actually. Yeah, what is it? Well, this person who handles patient admissions, I have to handle really young kids sometimes. We're not at children's hospitals, they usually come in as urgent cases. Aw. Uh -huh. That's why I try to make the admissions process as painless as possible. Just to make things a little easier for everybody involved. Yeah. Sadly, kids tend to get scared of me. Which makes expediting their admissions more difficult sometimes. But you're like one of the nicest guys I know. He's also really fucking big. So, you know. All things considered. Not his fault, but... Well, they're usually really, really young. You know what makes them so afraid of you? Not exactly, but I think my size might has something to do with it. I still tower over them even when I get down to their eye level. They probably feel vulnerable too. Yeah, I see what you mean. <laughs> Not exactly what you'd call a great combo. Not at all. Again, it's not a big deal. I'm just wondering if there's anything I can do about it. Ah. Uh. Hey, Reiji. Yes? Didn't realize it was already this late. Looks like I'll have to go soon. Can I order now? Or 
course. Well, it'll be. I'll have my usual mix of tea, milk, and hunt and ginger. Bring it back to the Galahad. Let's go. Werewolf in the heart thing. Here. Why not? You want you, the fidget spinner might help. You want that? Huh? Fidget spinner. This <laughs> is like reaction. I have two stat. Uh, you know what? Galahad! God. I don't think I need- oh, wait! This might be a good idea. Giving small toys to children to ease their anxiety. Nobody likes being in a hospital, after all. I'll take it as a reference. Thank you, Reggie. A special drink just for you, sir. Made in a jiffy without compromising quality. Thanks. It's great as usual. I can't seem to make it like you do. But it still works, right? At least for the intended purpose. It does. I'm just saying yours is still the best. Taste wise. What is it anyway, ginger latte? It's closer to the ginger milk tea, I think. What Reggie said. Either way. I've come to like it as my late night shift drink of choice. So I'm trying to cut back on my caffeine intake. For health reasons? Pretty much, yeah. I find myself better at controlling my fury that way. I see, that's good to know. I just have to rely on you and my venture into the world of tea drinking. You can count on me. I should leave before the storm gets any worse. Aww. Next time we'll catch up. Okay. Alright. Hard to leave in the middle of the conversation. Hang in there. It always gets better. Thank you. Have a safe trip. God, I fucking love you, Gala. Oh. I don't have a type. Um, Riona, isn't it? Sorry to hear about the auditions. Trust me, I really get how you're feeling right now. Yes? Huh? I've been rejected by agencies many times, too, before I finally made it into my previous group. Miss Rachel here is an idol. Your single is on the shelves behind you. Oh! amazing. Thanks. You have a reel up online somewhere? We might be playing in a different field, but I'd still love to see it. I took it down a long time ago. Why? I had to deal with a lot of online harassment. Therefore, I removed it to save myself some headaches. What? People are unbelievable. Find the haters. They're just people who have nothing better to do. Right. I suppose you must have dealt with similar things before. Funny! It comes with the fame. For better or for worse. I see. Anyway, you should keep it up. Maybe I can ask my colleagues if they know any audition leads if you link me your reel. Are you sure? Yep, I mean it. No promises, but I'll try. Um... I have a video if you want to see it. Of course. You move over then. A video of Riona singing. Wow. You might not get offered, but that was pretty nice. 
It'd be great if you posted more of these online. What do you mean? You you have this hmm a je ne sais quoi thing going on. An unusualness that may captivate some people. Oh, I know you should upload your stuff on Tomo uh, Tomocho. But many people will love it. Oh, it's all right. What's wrong? I don't think I'm cut out to have any presence online. I don't fit in with the culture. I told you, don't mind the haters. I mean, it's not just that. I I might also have a complex regarding something else. What complex? You both might dislike me for this. Why? I wish to do my best in the old-fashioned way, so to speak. Meaning... I... It seems more appropriate for me to follow the traditional route. As opposed to using shortcuts or things that are online. Oh, I get it. I would. Li it, you sure? Do you like opera? I've seen an opera maybe like once or twice in my life. I realize this makes me sound snobbish. I apologize. Who cares? Everybody's a snob in one way or another. Maybe you shouldn't limit yourself like that just yet. But I would try for her. <laughs> All right, Zax, we know we know which lane you're going down. What do you mean? The entertainment industry changes rapidly, you know. Supporting his friend. <laughs> For almost three years I've been doing this, it takes a lot of flexibility to stay afloat. Because there's always someone who can replace you. Ah. I don't know a lot about opera, but I'm sure it's changing too. Some things aren't always better the old way. Especially in the creative industry. Things stay stagnant in two ways. Either they're profitable, or certain people are just really stubborn. Like the past me. Back then, I thought I could get, uh, I could only choose one or two things I was good at. And just forget about the rest. Recently, I got a chance to make my own song, a musician. I'm not the best at composing, so I really needed the help. And the musician I'm collaborating with? He had a dream of becoming a fighter jet pilot. However, one thing or another kept him from making his dream come true. So he posted his music as a hobby on Tom Chill, and just like that, BAM! He hit it big. Oh. Yep, I'm a big fan of his. In fact, all the music in this coffee shop is from his newest album. Licensed, of course. I see. That's amazing of him. You too. Don't be afraid to do things a little differently. Many roads to roam and all that. That's all I can say about it. Huh. At any rate, I'll try asking around if they have any sort of leads. Can we exchange IDs? Do you have any? No, but I have a cell phone number. Mm, okay. There. Thank you. Okay, Riona, I have to go now. I'll hit you up by text if I have anything. Thank you so much. Don't thank me yet. But you're so welcome. Great I'm going. See you soon? Of course. I mean, you know where to find me. I'm not going anywhere. I'm right here. They actually don't let me leave this counter. Uh, I'm kind of chained to it. Um, please help. Bye-bye. Meow. Bye. Or why. So interesting. This is my first time seeing a Nekomini up close. Is that so? Oh, how about your car? Will you be alright? I have a spare tire. I'll fix it up once the weather improves. Alright. Coming here was a wise decision. I wasn't sure whether I should. Oh? The truth, I am deeply embarrassed by my conduct last time. I regret it. I apologize. Please, don't be sorry. 
Why is it always rain? They said it's the rainy season in Seattle. And like, I'm assuming it's just cloud coverage that's stuck around and hasn't been blown away by the jet stream or some such. No harm done. Yeah, they said something about it being rainy a lot recently. Well, it's the rainy season for Seattle, so. I'm assuming that's it. Thank you. Which makes sense, because I, I, you do get the cloud coverage rolling off the mountains. I don't know. Wait, because I got distracted because I was going on a raid with the boys, is this her second time showing up? Uh, Riona? Yeah. There are times when I, too, feel lonely. This was not my first rejection from an audition, as you may have already inferred. But... It never gets easier. It doesn't, but that doesn't make it any less worth trying. Typically, I would just ruminate about it in my car while being parked somewhere. I acknowledge it, it is not the most effective way of resolving my feelings. However, it is better than the alternatives. Which are not. Now you can always come here. I don't know. I feel as though I am only bringing doom and gloom to the table here. Nonsense. The door is always open. In the evenings, of course. Please, don't ever hesitate to stop by. Okay? We'll see. Sounds like the weather will clear up soon. Really? How do you know? Hmm. Experience. Let's just say I observe the sky a lot. Especially in travel. Makes sense. I guess. In any case, I better leave now. Thank you again, Reggie. You're very welcome. Have a <laughs> I realize the tactic of opening in evenings and nights means you dodge the morning rushers and rude people. Yeah, you mainly get people that are looking like the like the the overnight, like the graveyard shift people, and people who are just looking for a place to go after. Out. Yeah, I don't know. I would be in this crowd because I'm a night owl. So. I hope she comes by again. Get some, make some, uh, make some progress with Riona. No, who posted? Okay, okay, it's a bad idea. I won't do it. Jeez. Okay, he's not getting the tattoo. He's not shaving his legs and getting a tattoo. We didn't give her the spinner. I gave, I gave, um, I gave Gala the spinner because it turns out he needs it. It helps him. Uh, mainly for the spinner, the actual spinner part, and not uh, the other thing. Um, she got she, she got his contact info on a piece of paper instead, because he gave us both. I think this is it for today. Let's see. Hmm? Whose key card is this? Hmm. Let's keep it for now. Someone's apartment key, maybe. All right. Sweet spicy chai latte from the town of Athen, Yemen. Oh. Oh, right. We need to, um... What's that? I feel like I'm getting something. Oh, well. Tactical survival game, Krieg's Front 4, Final Front, set to release next year. What is that name? Krieg's Front. <laughs> Belltown man caught after attempting to outrun police with a Segway? I bet it was winning too for a while. He probably fell off. 
Petition to combine Halloween and Xmas gains traction. Why? Nightmare Before Christmas, baby? Let's fucking go. That's why, gamer. All right. Oh, no. Halloween dot chill. Oh, I guess Hyde's coming in because we just got Hyde on Tumble to Chill. I wish it wouldn't do that. It's the only thing I regret about this. It's just like, oh, wow. Oh, we're going to open that one later. We're going to we're gonna skip past that for now. Georgie. <laughs> oh, my. So I was in the vegan restaurant and a woman said that she knew me, which is weird because I've never met her before. I'm upset. I'm deeply upset. I feel like this is my finally the right time in my career to either write a book or challenge a professional boxer. So Lloyd Faye. Are you available like this Sunday? Mercury's currently hooked on this mecha tactic game. The mechanic is very interesting and inspiring. I have to click on it to clear it. I've seen this event path before. What do you mean? Secret project. I, I, it's the new album. It's just talking about the new album. The boxing. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh no. God, I hope somebody's not locked out. Seems like we're out of ginger. Huh. Mr. Hyde, welcome. Hello, Reggie. It's nice to see you again. How are you? Ah, uh, well. I'm just here. How about you? You seem a little preoccupied. I think I gave him the, the I think I gave him this voice. I'm trying to remember Hyde's voice. All right. Sorry about that. I just learned we're out of ginger. Oh. I made a mistake on the weekly order sheet. And the remaining roots I have are no longer fit for consumption. Tut tut. Sounds like a rookie mistake, Reggie. I know, I'm ashamed. My storage system is having problems because of the recent power surges. Alas, I'll just stock up at the farmer's market tomorrow. Sounds like the land. Oh, really busy as usual, I see. What if you just busted a fresh root of ginger and offered it? I would be... I would be so fucking done. He just ripped it out of his ass. Like, yeah, here, I got some. Like, what? <laughs> yeah, well, nothing wrong with a slow day or two from time to time. Although, it's been quite a week, if I may say so myself. Oh. Well, I'm listening. Pardon? You're weak. Tell me all about it. Oh. Mm, I'm not even sure where to start. Try anywhere. After all, there's no way for me to correct an unheard story, am I right? Right. 
Oh, the most notable problem recently have been these severe slower storms. Sometimes they cause our powers to short out, which messes with the machines. So, in case it happens again, my apologies. I see. Warning duly noted. There's also been this ongoing car vandalism in the neighborhood. Apparently, there's a serial deflator with tires on the loose. Officer Georgie was the one who informed me about it. We've also got a lot of new customers. And I think that's about it. This sounds eventful, uh, even if not terribly riveting. And now, regarding the car vandalism you spoke about. Well, I drove here. To what extent should I be concerned about it? Hmm. I wish I could inform you with confidence, but uh, hold on, let me just double check something. La voir el. C'est voir le trois. I have no idea if I said that right. I got, I, I apologize to the people of France. I don't speak it, neither do I. I apologize to the people of France. Unfortunately, I don't know much about it, so. I can answer that. Or G. There's nothing to worry about your car. About your car is gonna be fine. Officer Georgie, welcome. Hey, Reggie. I managed to track down the Vandal Strike Zone. You see, because the culprit seems to have a favorite spot. Really? Yep, and it's nowhere near here. Uh, Miss Rihanna told me her car was affected as well, by the way. That's so. She comes back, can you ask her where she parks? No do. Appreciate it. Anyway, my investigation's still ongoing, but I'd say this area is pretty safe. So you can relax. I see. Anyway, good evening, y'all. Not for blocking the entryway earlier, I was finishing off my last cigarette. Time to start a new one. You mind? Not at all. Mr. Hyde, uh, meet Officer Georgie. Oh, I guess these two never met. He's in charge of the night patrols around here. Cheers. This is Georgie, meet Mr. Hyde. Our occasional customer from Los Angeles. A friend of Mr. Gala. Ah. Big hospital guy. And I guess I've seen you around a bunch. A Los Angelino, eh? <laughs> uh, not for much longer, though. Oh? I am in the process of finalizing my move back here with my modeling agency. That's wonderful news. You lived here before? Mm hmm. For about 40 years. When did you move to LA then? Around 20 years ago. Right. Huh. Let's just say I'm nowhere near as young as I look. Oh. Models. Vampires. Gotcha. <laughs> and as a native Seattleite, let me be the first to welcome you back. We got smog and dour skies. I would just love to live in this world. I know, right? Dude, it's why you got demons, you got vampires, you got werewolves, you got Nekomimi, you got like banshees, you got satyr. Like everything's here. Like everything. Even aliens. Even as a human, I would like yeah, you can see some yeah, and elves and like it's it's nuts. I like I like the Coffee Talk universe. It's so it's so cool and so chill. Oh, but at least our coffee is second to none. Right, Ragey? I'll let you be the judge of that. Thanks for the warm welcome. And then have you moved in already or not yet? 
Preparations still need to be made at the property I have chosen. I wouldn't even think of packing until it's halfway done. Makes sense. That being said, I'll be here to oversee the construction for a while. If you ever need help, let me know. Can't do much by myself, but I can find a few guys who can. Although it won't be necessary, I appreciate the gesture. It's funny. What is? Quite frankly, the police force and I had something of a contentious relationship in the past. Uh oh. Was it a slap on the wrist and let's call it a day type of thing? Or the catch you, catch me kind of thing? <laughs> All I can say is live long enough, you'll try everything. Oh, there's a bygone years, of course. Are you sure? <laughs> so, does anyone want something to drink? Naturally. After you. Well, a public servant should put the citizens first. So, after you. How idealistic. But I insist. Did you post something? You found that on Rumbler, didn't you? <laughs> He's like, oh, you. She's like, oh, you were on Tumblr, weren't you? You fucking read that on Tumblr, and you posted it here, thinking you'd impress other people, huh? That's funny. Yo, that's good. That's cool that it like updates without like without being relevant to like the, the current conversation, though. I don't know. Like, I like hatching it. It's it's fun. This game is fun. I like this game. I like the first game too. I like these games. But I insist. After all, I'm still considering my options. Well then, in that case... What will it be, officer? Just give me something nice, Rangy. Are you alright? Eh, not that great, honestly. What happened? Never mind that for now, I got a question for you. Did you by any chance see a lighter lying around? Oh. Yes, I did. I have it with me. Ooh, that's early. Okay, Rage, listen carefully. I need you to take this very, very seriously. Okay. I'll need that lighter back, okay? Okay. I mean it. I need it back. Or this streak of bad luck won't end. Pardon? Just talking to myself. Okay, okay, I understand. Appreciate. Would you like anything to drink? It's black coffee for me, please, but lightly sweet. Sweet coffee is gonna come up. Coffee, 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 coffee. Nice. Thanks, Reggie. Suppose I owe you an explanation. I told you before, right? The lighter's my lucky charm. When it goes missing, my luck gets real dicey. Brew pad. Mm, sweet coffee. Oh, that's right. He's born June 1st. I almost got hit by a falling fan at work. Broke the missus' favorite mug. Nearly swerved my car to the sidewalk because a black cat jumped in my lane. Black cat! Not even a raccoon! I swear I'm not making this up. If it wasn't a sign, I don't know what it is. And well, I thought it was still mad at me too. Anyway, glad to have this back. Thanks for keeping it safe for me, Rage. You're very welcome. Use your sweet coffee to sweeten your evening, officer. Cheers, Rage. 
That really hits a spot. I'm glad to hear it. Did he post about it? Please tell me he posted about it. Oh, that's Lucas's. Ever feel like been jamming on good songs when your earphone died off? Uh, well, I've never had that because my ear pod is amazing. Get yours here. Oh, wow. Let me, let me click on him. Come on. Let me try and buy useless shit in this game. Are you, oh, you got Healy's? Nice. If you see Gomi around, be sure to tell her. Welcome to the club. <laughs> Ready to make your order? Not quite. Do you have any suggestions? Huh. We have a couple of new teas if you're interested. Oh. They're butterfly pea and hibiscus flowers. Hibiscus, huh? Not an ingredient that's easily palatable when used in a hot beverage. Perfect. Make me something with it. You sure? Oh, yeah, I'm missing some ingredients tonight. Do you have any specifics in mind? I'll let you choose for me. Let's make it red and rose. Maybe it can be my new blue twine. Oh, well, I, oh, wait, hold on. This, it's German, so it's it, Blutwein. Or Blutwein. I'm not great with my German pronunciation. <laughs> it's a fake blood cocktail I used to get here. Back when it was still a bar. Ah, I see. <laughs> Blut fine! <laughs> Make me a bold red drink. I'd like to see what you can come up with. Uh, Sorry, I don't know why I did that. I was just like, bah, bah, bah. Bah, bah, bah. Oh, did I do? I did. Oh, I think I did cinnamon. Just cause honey and mint. Hibiscus tea. Oh, 
let's check. I got you. Okay, let's just serve that. Oh, wait, hold on. And, uh... Sure, this is Hyde's card, so. Or that in the Hyde's Galas. Huh. That's Galas, this is an empty apartment key. See, so we lost it here. In fact, he called me this morning asking if I was in the city. I didn't tell him I was in Seattle, though, so the call was a surprise. Why did he call, you ask? Well, simply because I have his spare key. I'll take this off you and bring it to him, then. I'll be sure to let him know. All right, thank you. Here you go, sir. Something red. This is a drink you thought I might like. Honestly, I'm not entirely confident, but this is the best I can do tonight. Looks peculiar enough. Huh. How is it? It's tart. Astringent. Do you like it? You tell me. Ah, and I was looking forward to it. I'm sorry, this is, that isn't what you expected. Well, you did what I asked, so no need for apologies. Next time, you can try making something that doesn't taste like a hay juice. Some boldness. They can leave a mark in me. There's only one hibiscus drink that I've ever enjoyed. I'm curious to see if you can come close. I'll try my best next time. Is uh, only you had that ginger, yeah. It, no, the ginger is the what I needed to do it. Hey, kid. Wow. Oh. There. Ah. Uh, damn. Oh. Oh dang! Hi, hi, Ragey. Pops, nice to see you again. What's up? What's going on? What's going on with you? Me, oh, well, uh, nothing, nothing much. You know what? Let me move over there. There we go. Sorry about earlier. I was, uh, <laughs> preoccupied. No problem. Is everything alright? Yeah, of course. I'm always alright, always. Because I'm a very lucky dude. Speaking of luck, did the lady ever come back? Riona? Yeah, she did. Really? Did you manage to give her my stuff? I did. I gave her your written contact info. Okay, okay, cool. She didn't throw it away, did she? As far as I know, I don't think so. Great! Try to reach the Soprano less. That's right, Pops. I still feel uneasy about how that day went. So I just want to apologize to her or something, you know? Okay. I guess I just have to wait for her to contact me, huh? I think so, yeah. What if she doesn't contact me? What should I do? Then that's that. That's her choice. You're so right, Pops. Didn't think of you as someone who'd have trouble reaching out to someone like this. <laughs> I know, right? It is what it is. Okay, then. I'll wait. Any hoodle? It's nice to see you again, Pops. Likewise, kid. Go to you too, or sir? Hide. It's hide. Wait, so you're really that hide? The supermodel hide? Big shot, eh? <laughs> oh man, oh boy. Never thought I'd randomly see you in a place like this. 
No offense to you, Reggie. Well, I follow your socials, man. Big fan. I actually love the timeless series you did for Boundless. Huh. That's an old? Boundless? It was a lifestyle magazine. No longer in print. Because everything is online these days. What was the series about? It was a photo series I modeled for. A bit of an avant-garde shoot. They were originally set to be displayed in a time travel themed showcase. Alas, the exhibit the exhibition fell through. So they were rethemed and put in a magazine instead. Yeah, those were awesome. Huh. I liked how the series showed peak fashion through the times. Yet the designs were so contemporary. Timeless even. Fun and simple. Oh, I'd love to see that. Wait, right, let me show you a couple of pics from it. That looks great there. Color those or not. Oh, wow. You looked amazing, Mr. Hyde. I still do. I was gonna say, yo, Rip, hold on. What do you mean? He looked past tense. Hang on. Man still fucks to this day. But excuse me. Of course. It was so cool. It inspired me to find my own style, too. Partial to the 80s inspired look myself. Really? I can't tell. It's my jacket collection. Huh. I'm glad it helped. I did enjoy experiencing some of those times again. Even if only in garment form. Even if I was left with a melancholy feeling. But I digress. Huh? Would you like to order anything? Oh yeah, of course! Oh, by the way, is pure matcha supposed to make you feel woozy? Pardon? I tried drinking some before our lunch a couple days ago. Felt a tad nauseous. Did you have breakfast? No. It's really strong tea, so it still shouldn't be consumed on an empty stomach. Ah! That was the main takeaway from our conversation, wasn't it? Duly noted, thanks. Can I, can I get a pumpkin latte? Uh... Sorry, we don't have that here. Ah, for real? You know you don't need pumpkin to make it, right? No, oh, I've heard that before. Yep, but I have an open mind. I just don't, let it, uh, just don't want anything plain tonight. How about it can be something based off a pumpkin latte with what you have? Coffee, milk, and cinnamon. Okay, I can see what we... Should be good. Is it like the pumpkin flavor mainly cinnamon anyway? I don't have anything to give him, right? No, that's the men in blacks thing. No, right. We don't need that. Um, I'm not... Again, I, I want to do the latte art just for shits and giggles, but also like... I can't do latte art. No, 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 but like the, the default look is just so nice. They're just so fucking pleasing. I can't handle it. What is happening here? Oh, is it uh, Lucas's? On a short break to refresh and wreak havoc on return. Post your recs on my channel or my sub at slash Lucas. Oh, wait, hold on. What's his. Uh... Did he change his profile again? Is that him as a younger Sander? That's right. Okay, hold on. Let me check. Cause like everybody's should be like rot like the the influencer ones should probably be rotating their profile pics. Where is uh Rachel's? No, Rachel stayed the same. Lucas changed his. Sounds good. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm good call on the cinnamon. It's the star spice of the fall season after. Oh yeah, you're right. Like pumpkin lattes. The warmth cheers me right up. Thanks, Reggie. 
I'll mention it. Everybody here uses a coaster, except for you, Lucas. What do you have against my counters? Hmm. Why do you need cheering up, kid? Why don't you serve him his coffee with a little coffee plate? I swear to God I gave it to him. He's just not using it. I know he isn't. His phone's probably on top of it, I bet. Yeah, just the usual work stuff. A few disagreements here and there, you know. Any working team will eventually have him once or twice, right? Right. What do you do? I'm a vlogger slash influencer. Ah. I review a lot of lifestyle things like fashion, places, food, etc. on the social media. And as I do skits and such on my channels too. And pranks also. No, no, Pops. <laughs> no way. Don't talk though, I actually hate pranks. I didn't say it before, but I hate them. Oh, well, I, I mean, like, theoretically, I think I serve it to him. I probably, like, I don't, like, the character that you play as in Coffee Talk doesn't seem like the type that would not give him one. A lot. Yeah, so, I just think they're the lowest form of entertainment. It's cheap thrills at the expense of others. Right. Yeah, getting off topic here, sorry. So you're essentially the creator and the host of your show. What does your team do? The team helps me edit, secure sponsorships, and massively boost the production quality. They're great, and I owe them a lot. You think they're doing well? Yeah, I mean, I think so. They get by pretty well. I currently reside in LA. For real, I did too, before I moved here. Why did you move? I, I moved? Haha. <laughs> I mean... Because I hated it there. Not to crap on where you live, sir. I just think LA is not for me. No offense taken. Why did you hate it there? Uh, it's a long and stupid story. Trust me, you don't want to hear it. Anyway, sorry for the tangent. We're saying? I have been noticing. Oh shit, the track change. I've been noticing an influx of newcomers there. They're loud, young, and brazen. I'm just like it. Yeah? The fact that you're able to make something of yourself out of such mundane nonsense. I'd say you're doing pretty well. So, what's the issue? Well. Talked about my channel situation here before, right? Yeah, you said your views were dwindling. Calling it dwindling might be overkill, but yeah. That's why my team and I are trying to figure out what to do. Trying to keep the show fresh, you know? Truthfully, though, I've been wanting to change the show's direction for a while now. I even promised myself last year. Once I got to a certain number of viewers, I was going to do it. It was. Well, uh... I've always wanted to do a talent showcase segment, you know? So it could help elevate others like me. Others like you? Yeah. Like the soprano lady from before. Like those dwarf actors and actresses in TV shows. We all actually kind of have something in common. You know what it is? I'll make it easier for you. Think about satyrs, for example. Hey, gee, when you heard about us, what's the first thing that comes to your mind? Um, don't think too hard now. Say anything off the top of your head. How about you, Pops, sir? Probably partying, recklessness, alcoholism, or a joke, right? Is that what you think? Oh, that's what most of the society thinks. The same way society views Lady Riona as a uh, bad luck personified. Well, just because she happens to be a banshee. Besides, society is awful at judging people. The immediate trust they have for those who have money, compared to those who had to start from zero. You know what I mean? 
I mean, I get it, you know? Etiquette, social cues, and awareness, that sort of thing. What nurtures you when you grow up reflects these things. That's what most people like to assume anyways. Like, I get it. Nobody has any time to learn about everybody. So we go by impressions. But as someone who started from zero and now, the difference on how people treat me is so damn stark. So damn stark, it doesn't feel at all that great, you know? Of course. So yeah, I wanted to carve a space in my work. A place where I could give exposure to those who might not yet get it otherwise. Then, once again, I ask you, what is the issue? The team thinks my segment idea is too risky. Don't fix what's not broken, they say. They just want me to improve what I've been doing. Do you agree? No. I mean, they're not wrong. The risk is real. After all, I'm not responsible for only for myself. I've got a whole team depending on me now. That's why I'm trying to find a compromise. At least until we become so big that any slight changes won't affect us as much. Will the world wait for you, though? I wonder. Huh? Will the world wait for you to be ready? Have you ever asked yourself that? Um, you see, making choices is always a matter of priority. As you grow, your stake increases along with your responsibilities. As such, your excuses will continue to pile up. But, uh, given the pace at which you're going right now, I see your idealistic dream is unlikely to be achieved or realized. However, if it's enough for you to just have good intentions, well, that's another story. Okay. And Hyde's like letting him have it. Well. something. Yeah, ha! So ready to tuck into bed. I did my best today, and I hope you did too. Any likes that I missed? Well, a little blown up. Am I wrong, though? It is a perspective. You know, one of many. I admit I don't know much about the entertainment biz. But you've gotten this far, boy. So, because all along you've been motivated by that specific goal in mind. Is that right? Yeah? That's why I wouldn't dismiss his intent so easily. He's... Well, you're probably just a bit lost right now. <laughs> Do you think I should have been gentler then? Nah. I needed, I needed the whipping. Those words were hard to swallow, but I think I needed to hear them. Okay. Uh huh. Well, there's a lot I need to think about. So, I should go. Nice seeing you, Pops. And thanks for your advice, sir. Reggie, thank you, too. Hang in there. Yeah, y'all, too. See you around. Hyde's always been so blunt. Well, you stay too long already. I better go do my work now. I want to get my pay, Doctor C. I see it in your hide. We'll see each other more often, I'm sure. Hopefully, nothing work related. Have a good night, Officer. You too, Ray. Be safe out there, Officer. Will do. Until next time. I suppose I should leave as well. I'll be back before long. Please do. Hmm? Is there something wrong? Looks like the officer forgot his lighter again. Are you fucking me? Who seems our officer accidentally drops it again? Oh, what a curse. 
Man's got mad butterfingers. I know. Just put it in your goddamn pocket! Oh no, you're right. I'll keep it for him. Thank you. Alright then. Have a good evening yourself, Rachel. Safe trip out there, Mr. Hyde. Do what any self respecting man should and just put it in your sock! Werewolves share many common ancestors. Uh, share common may share common ancestry. Archaeology say is that supposed to be Gala? Is that a picture of Gala? In the I guess dog people instead of cat people. Lionfish invasion decrease. A successful trial of the algae. Countries to block foreign entry amidst unknown livestock bacterial infection. Probably related to the algae. I wonder, I wonder, maybe. Yeah. The evening whisper. Let's stop the day. Like bad weather again tonight. All right, that should be it. I am going to call it here. I want to save the rest for another stream. This will probably be a two, maybe three stream game. I'm thinking probably two. The last one was two. Oh, jeez. Oh. Oh, jeez. I need a stretch. Oh, been sitting. There we go. Uh. Yeah, it's a it's a Thursday night. I don't I don't, I don't feel like raiding. We'll raid on the maybe on the weekend when I stream. If I stream on the weekends, um, I don't know if I'll stream. I don't. I'm not, I'm definitely not streaming tomorrow. I've been streaming for the past three days. I might stream Saturday, but that depends. I do have uh I have I'll be honest. I have another keyboard I want to build on Saturday, so I might be I might be preoccupied with that slightly. Um. I'm gonna try out some Gateron blue switches, so we'll see how that build goes. Let you guys know. Maybe post some pics, maybe. But yeah. I will see you all later. I appreciate y'all watching, checking out Coffee Talk with me. Super exciting to be back playing this. Love it, love it, love it. But yeah. This is gonna be it for me. Good night. Stay safe. And sweet dreams. Bye bye.